music started. Don't pay attention yet. <laughs> There we go. Got some ambiance. <laughs> Gotham. Gotham Park City in Helioth. Home to crime. There's a lot of crime in Gotham. City of fear. But one man stands in the night ready to bring justice and vengeance in the night. It is I, Spider-Man. Okay, I'm not doing that voice the whole time, but I will do it a lot. <laughs> How's it going, people? Welcome to Spatula the Saturday stream. And we got Tokoso here in the chat. How you doing, Tokoso? Good evening. I won't do the voice. I don't know how to do the voice without coughing like that, but that was good. It's a Batman voice. Yeah. <laughs> it's the blood of fear in the heart of criminals. So they just run away and poop themselves. <laughs> Gotham. It's Batman. Gotham City. <laughs> filled with criminals. <coughs> Woo! Wow. I don't know how Christian Bale was doing that for the like three movies, yeah. man. That's professional acting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you saw the provocative title for the uh, the stream, I went and saw the Batman uh, a couple days ago, and uh, it was fantastic. I will. Uh, give you my uh, spoiler free review uh, in a moment talk about that movie but um, I thought it'd be interesting to what if Elite Dangerous had a Batman what if Batman existed in space what's up Ray Mobula and Joe Schmalthlor um, so what we're going to do today is interesting um, we're going to become Batman and we are going to fight crime in Alioth but we have to follow Batman's methodology. It's <laughs> like, lol, what was that? It was Batman voice. It's, uh, <laughs> it uses the voice to disguise his identity and to put fear into the hearts of the criminals. And, it, and, and I'm sure he has to do like Mongolian throat exercises every day to keep that. Um, but here are the rules, basically. So Batman does not use guns. So we're going to fight crime, but we can't do it with guns. We have to use our fists and our brains and stealth that's the that's pretty much the only rule <laughs> but i think that'll be what could if we have no brains <laughs> just use stealth and fists stealth and fists stealthy fists and you know yeah. Yeah, oh, can we use the electric zappers because he does zap people and they do taser people i don't know he does and i'm going to consider the taser to be non-lethal i'm going to consider yeah, yeah. even because okay this is yeah. a weird thing in the game where when you tase someone, it does look like a little symbol goes over their head that's not like a, a skull and bones. It's more yeah. like, um, you know, like a Looney Tunes when someone gets bonked on the head and the little thing starts spinning above the little birds and whatever, right? Yeah. Oh, Joe, you're saying Batman and Elite Dangerous would be an anti-ganker. Well, if we, if we find any gankers, we'll certainly go after them. But uh, I'm going to start with a settlement raid because I'm going to assume these eliminate... The criminal faction members occupying <laughs> the settlement and return to Gotham. Um, so we're going to do that, but we're going to not be able to use guns. So it'll be interesting to see how this works out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've got my Batman red. Red for... It's the color of uh, bat... Bat guano. Bat guano. It's bat poop. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've got the cool uh, EDHM uh, HUD silent. Permanent silent running. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, but I don't think I have enough heat sinks for that. Excuse me, bartender. I'm here, I'm here fighting crime. Do you know where I can find some crime? Oh shit, wait. I'm not wearing my mask. Uh, just, just ignore that. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. Ah! <laughs> but I've got myself a nice. Oh, oops, sorry, man. I've got myself a nice. Uh, I've rejigged my Dominator suit to be kind of all black. And unfortunately, there is no Batman mask. And this is one thing I do hope happens in the Elite Dangerous universe is some partnership licensing. I would love to see, um, like, a Batman mask or a Jurassic Park dinosaur mask and stuff like that. Uh, I think that would be really cool. Who's going to be the Joker? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Tacosa, do you want to be do you want to be Robin or do you want to be the Joker? I don't know. I, probably, I should be Robin, I think. The Joker is... Too much fun. <laughs> it's true. 
<laughs> hey, Nix, good to see you. I saw a picture of you at the uh, Elite Meet thing. It's good fun. Oh, yeah, how was the Elite Meet? I wish I could have come there. It's yeah, so I far away, like, but it would have been fun. I could have to go up. I really want to go. But I was so, so scared. But, um, yeah. Well, but, let me... I saw pictures. I'm going to turn you up, Takoso. Ju ju juice your volume. Yeah, you feel a little quiet to me. Use too loud. Yeah, can you can you boost yourself? I can. I put you down to two hundred percent. So, if, so this is yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, let me boost myself first. Oh yeah, it's coming so. in now. I can hear you through the comms right, system. Right. <laughs> is that you, Alfred? Alfred, I need a sandwich. Why did you cut the crust off? Just like I like it. And cut it into little triangles. <coughs> oh God! Oh God! Look back! Look back! So you could have dead. <laughs> Make it. Like cut the bread into the shape of a bat, with no crust. I don't like the crust. And make it like ham and cheese. Well, no, actually, no cheese. I gotta watch my my calories. I gotta stay bat fit. <laughs> oh God! I can't do that voice all stream. <laughs> it's worse than Bradford. Um, do you think? I think Alfred reads in little bedtime stories as well. He feels like he's a absolutely, oh, absolutely. Yeah. But the bedtime stories that Alfred might read are, are like old war stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably uh, what... we were in the, the trenches in 1940, and I blew both my legs off, and it was a lovely story. Yes. Well, so so, well. so so here's the thing. I'm I'm a huge Batman nerd, right? Like other than well, James, right. James Bond, which you know we've seen my James Bond videos, and my name is <laughs> Batfla 007. That's hint hint. Um, but <laughs> Batman, I'm obsessed with Batman. I have probably spent over like $3,000 in Batman graphic novels. I got shelves oh, wow. full of Batman. So I'm a comic book nerd. But like when it comes to comics, like it's it's like 90% Batman and then, you know, like 8% Superman and then a couple, you know, Green Arrow or whatever. But only because Batman's in them. <laughs> or it relates to Batman in some way. So I, I, I know my comic book stuff. And... Uh, oh, let me just talk about, before we get into um, the Bat Adventures, um, let me just talk about the Batman. So first of all, I'm not going to spoil anything, so don't worry. I will not I will keep my review spoiler free. Um, I would place, first of all, if I were to place it on an 8 out of 10, or, or sorry, a scale out of 10, it would be either an 8 or a 9. I think it's a really damn good Batman movie. Between this movie, the original Tim Burton, Michael Keaton Batman, and the Christian Bale Dark Knight Returns with Heath Ledger, um, those are I, I'm I'm finding it really hard to between those three movies which one I would place as number one and of course the the 1960s Adam West movie for a different kind of Batman but that movie is still like I think one of the best Batman movies because it just makes you laugh um, yeah. but this Robert Pattinson Robert Pattinson uh, take on it and it, 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 fantastic um, what I will say is it's the most comic book inspired. Um, where it really excels is the tone. They just nail the city of Gotham, the tone of Batman, and the detective side of the Caped Crusader uh, superbly. Um, in terms of performances, Robert Pattinson, um, fantastic Batman. Not so sure he's the best Bruce Wayne uh, yet. And, you know, to preface this, like, this movie kind of takes place earlier in Batman's career. It's not year one Batman, maybe year two Batman. So he's still kind of new to the whole Batmaning thing. He's not um, the experienced Cape Crusader that makes no mistakes. Like he 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 fucks up a couple times. It, you know, again without spoilers. Like you know, he's not perfect. He's still working through it, and he certainly hasn't developed the Bruce Wayne persona, right? Um, the one thing I love about Batman is that, you know, when Batman is wearing the mask of Bruce Wayne, he's this, you know, billionaire playboy kind of, you know, kind of a bit of an airhead, um, albeit, you know, altruistic, um, which is that, you know, what, you could look at Bruce Wayne and be like, that guy can't be Batman. He's, he's an idiot, right? And I think Christian Bale um, might be one of the better Bruce Waynes. Michael Keaton as well, I think, did a phenomenal Bruce Wayne, though he was a little bit, a little bit... Um, uh, you want to see crazy? I'll get crazy. Like, you know, he, went, yeah, yeah. Yeah. he was more like the disturbed Bruce Wayne. And this one, you know, like Robert Pattinson kind of does the Bruce Wayne is a little bit like emo and it wasn't very tonally different from Batman. So, you know, I, I'd like to see in a sequel movie, um, more development on the Bruce Wayne side, but as Batman, fucking hell. 
um, you forget that it's Robert Pattinson. Like, he, he embraces that role perfectly. Um, the Catwoman. So I think it's Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. And I think she's fantastic. I think this is maybe my favorite interpretation of Catwoman. Um, I didn't mind the Anne Hathaway thing, but I never quite believed her as a realistic Catwoman. And really, like, I guess, who else? Michelle Pfeiffer and, um, like, you know, Julie Andrews or Urs Ursula Kitt are, are all that you're uh, uh, stacked up against in terms of, like, Catwomans. Uh, but I think Zoe Kravitz was, was a great Catwoman. I think they... Uh, and again, I'm trying to avoid spo spoilers, but, like, I think Catwoman was maybe a bit too much of an anti-hero and, and they could have made her a little bit more treacherous, a little more villainous. Like, they even right. kind of did that with... Um, the Anne Hathaway one where she like turns Batman over to Bane and betrays him and I didn't feel that this Catwoman wa was really portrayed as a villain um, but other than that I think she, she was phenomenal in that role um, and just a great uh, Selena Kyle uh, John Turturro as Carmine Falcone phenomenal casting I love John Turturro I saw him pick his nose once at TIFF um, <laughs> But uh, he was he was absolutely fantastic as Carmine Fal Falcone, that perfect like sinister gangster type. Colin Farrell, I forgot that he was in the movie. And if you're watching the movie, and, and obviously he plays the Penguin, um, man, you cannot tell it's Colin Farrell. It is a truly transformative wow. performance. I think the guy deserves an Oscar for the level of just I I could I could not tell it was Colin Farrell at all. Like I was incredibly impressed with his performance. And the penguin is well represented. Um, Alfred, um, who plays Alfred in this one? It's Andy Circus, and Andy Circus. I, th I think I love in everything Andy Circus has been in. Um, in this, he was a fantastic Alfred. I think he's one of the best Alfreds. Uh, he doesn't get as much time in, in this movie. I would have liked a another good solid ten minutes of Alfred in this movie. Um, but the, the scenes that he's in, he's he's phenomenal. And I think the big, uh, the big villain in there, the Riddler, Paul Dano, oh my god, incredible. He does such a great job. I, this is my favorite interpretation of the Riddler. Obviously, I'm a big Jim Carrey fan, but that movie had its problems, and I never quite felt... Again, it's, I'd have to rewatch the Val Kilmer movie, but I feel like it, it maybe went a little bit too comical. And Paul Dano... Um, oh my god, just just does the Riddler so much justice. He's so cool in this movie. Um, and funny. Um, but in a, in a... I won't spoil like how, but just, you know. Um, he, he's got some great moments. Um, and then Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon. I did not know how I would feel about this going in. Um, obviously, like, you're compa I'm comparing him in my mind to Gary Oldman, who I think did just a phenomenal phenomenal Commissioner Gordon, but Jeffrey Wright was amazing. I really liked him in this role. Um, do you have any questions to Kosovo? No, it sounds very good. I, I was thinking like the Christian Bale thing was great because he had three films to redevelop things, you know? Yeah. So he had, they, they could take the time to tell a bit of a story of a different twist and then keep adding things. And he did bring something different to it, but I think it was the, the amount of time because you did one film, you've got to do all the, all the, the everything, and it's like it's really hard work. Then, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. I hope this guy gets more time from the sound of it. I would love to see a Robert Pattinson trilogy. Um... Yeah, yeah. And I, I would love to see them like kind of flesh out his character. Like, I've always loved Batman's earlier part of his career when he's just figuring things out. Um, like yeah, in this, yeah. you know, yeah. you've seen the trailer, so you've seen the Batmobile. It's just like a souped-up muscle car. It doesn't have the gadgets um, and all the sort of frills of the of the later Batmobile. It's not a giant tank or what do they call it? The tumbler. Um, yeah. yeah. But it does the job. It's intimidating. It is uh, It is very cool. It gets a, a very wonderful intro. The Batmobile gets a nice hype scene uh, to big it up. Um, what I would say, too, is the introduction to Batman. I have never in any Batman movie seen a better setup and introduction for that character. I will not tell you about it. Um, yep. But the first scene where you see Batman is so well done. Um, and yeah, just yeah. fits the comic book and, and just introduces that character in such a great way. Um, yeah. 
books. I used to have a few graphic novels in the teens. And yeah. Like, I love Batman because he's pretty messed up, you know? Mm-hmm. He's kind of, he could be a criminal because he goes out there and just destroys the people or something. And that was always the interesting thing about him, which is actually quite dark. And all the early films, it was always a bit comic book, which is fun. And then we got to do that. But I, I love that fact that he's, he's, a cry, he's against crime. But he does that in a way where it crosses the line that police would never do. I think that's yeah. They never quite, never really fully went into the fact that he's a bit of a psychopath. So maybe they have this one. Yeah, I mean, but a few issues. The fact that he's <laughs> just like a guy who had a tragedy upon him, and the way he deals with this tragedy is by starting this obsessive quest to fix this broken city to end crime. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he has no superpowers other than, you know, he's rich. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So he can afford all the goodies. Um, and, and, you know, that makes him more human than any of these other, you know, Superman, you know, it's like, unless there's kryptonite in the storyline, what's his vulnerability? Oh, Lois got kidnapped again, right? But back yeah. then, you know, like he could get shot in the chin and that's it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You done? They was Mrs. Chin, don't they? That's the I don't understand story. why the bad guys. So, so in this movie, what's great is is you do see a more vulnerable Batman, right? right. It, it is yeah. earlier in his career. He's still making mistakes. You know, there, there's great fights and great fight choreography, but you yeah. know, and, and, and believe me, there's some great friggin' moments and some good gadget usage. Um, but it's not. It, he's not perfect. And I like yeah, to see yeah, yeah. Batman stumble and fall a little bit to remind you that he's human. Now, there are some, like, of those usual tropes that annoy me in Batman where, like, Batman passes out and when he wakes up, you know, he's, he's captured by someone as an example and they've decided not to take off his mask. Yeah. How does that keep happening? Why, why, if, if you <laughs> yeah. saw Batman passed out, even just, like, a guy walking down the street, would you not be like, what's under that mask? You know? Yeah, you'd be straight there, wouldn't you? You know, you would just want to know who he is. But, um, you know, uh, it, 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 no spoilers and, you know, Batman does, does not, um... Uh, get his identity sort of uh, uh, compromised or whatever in that in that fashion. Um, but I do. Can mm-hmm. you send us a team invite and I'll jump in your ship? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Let me do. Uh, let me do. Um, so yeah, like the the on the other side, um, I think there were some flaws. Like it wasn't a perfect movie. Um, where I think it let me down a little bit was in the third act. I feel like there could have been another. 15 minutes of film to wrap up some of the things that they set off because not everything got paid up and I'm not sure yeah. if maybe they, they made the decision of like yeah the movie's going to be too long we're going to put it into the sequels like some character development or some arcs um, but it, it, you know I definitely walked out of it feeling like hmm like they didn't wrap that up as neatly as I would have liked and that's where you know when I look at um, The Dark Knight um, and obviously Heath Ledger is just incredible yeah, yeah. in his role in the Joker. Um, what I think that movie did better than any other Batman movie was like understand the theme of Batman versus the Joker, of that anarchy versus chaos, and how sort of from Joker, like the whole setup at the end where there's the two ships, one with civilians, yeah. one with prisoners, and they each have the detonator for the other ship. And if they don't yeah, yeah. blow up the other ship, then both ships will explode. And the Joker is taking that gamble that, like, at the end of the day, everyone yeah, is yeah. just one step away from becoming, like, the Joker. And Batman, yeah. you know, has that that sort of, like, believes that even the Joker can can be redeemed, can be saved, which is why he doesn't kill people, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's really cool, right? Um, let me see here. What are you saying in the comments? Um, yeah, Ray Mobile, you like Batman that he's no mutant like Spider-Man or alien like Superman or God. I think that's what makes Batman relatable and, to be honest, the best hero. And the fact that, like, you know, not not only is he does he have no superpowers, but like, you know, like he can he's the one of the few people that can take down Superman, right? Like he just figures stuff out. And um, I've always loved the detective element to it. You know that you know I am a space detective here. Um, but, um, the other thing that I really like about the Batman is there's a lot of detective stuff. It is at its core, kind of a murder mystery and there's lots of scenes and, and, you know, this is also, you know, earlier in Batman's career, but he's been around for a while and there's a lot of scenes where like, he'll show up on a crime scene and the cops are kind of like, the hell Batman's here. And then Christian Gordon's like, yeah, he's with me. Just fucking leave him alone and shit. Right. Um, and, you know, Batman's going around collecting evidence and trying to figure out the crime. 
And to me, that's like always been one of my favorite parts of Batman. Even going back to like the '60s Batman, where he had his Bat computer and his Bat crime lab, and his, you <laughs> yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did love that Batman. My, my, my mates who are complete dope comic mm -hmm. people hate that one, but I love the fun of it. I grew up with Batman in that sort of way. And um, but like you say, there's a real film noir edge to Batman, really. It yeah. Has a sort of, it's not saying it's like that, and that's cool to explore because never it's not really been looked on in that way, which is excellent. Isn't it? It, 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 I can't get any of shit, man. I can't choose it from the hangar for some reason. Why not? You're like Goth Gotham oh. Port, aren't you? You're an open, aren't you? Yeah, Gotham, uh, Alioth. Here, let me. I'll come to the concourse, see if I can yeah. find you there. Gotham Park, yeah. That's very strange. I, I am in a crate Phantom. That should have multi-crew. Yeah. I know there's all these yeah, extra seats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Time must be okay there. Uh, yeah, Joe's like, if you're going to be Batman and Elite Dangerous, you're going to need more credit spatula. Well, I am a multi-millionaire. <laughs> Maybe not a multi-billionaire, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but... Um, you know, and, and and here's here's some cool stuff. Is um, hold on, where are you, Tukoso? Are you on, on the yeah. concourse? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm on, I'm oh, maybe on, we're yeah. not in the same instance. Yeah, I'll I'll jump on my ship. I can try menu logging. Yeah, I'll do that as well. I'll just do that. Yeah, yeah. Just turn down the volume a little bit. Um, but yeah, let me just log back in here. Quick Robin, down the bat ladder. Oh, so, so like, okay, so like, I grew up on the Adam West Batman, and it always yeah. will have this section of my heart that is always reserved for that interpretation of Batman. Mm. The campy, just off the walls, stupid, but lovable uh, Batman. That's yeah. one of my favorite interpretations. And all the kapows and everything were amazing. Bam, kapow, biff, yeah. zap. Yeah. <laughs> And it's just like, uh, uh, oh, don't are. forget, Robin, buckle your bat safety belt. Oh, there you are. Hello. Yeah. I'd yeah, love to send you another invite. We have instanced. We have instanced. Invite your team. Are you ready, Robin? To the Batmobile. <laughs> I never know what Robin is. What strange little boy who follows the Batman around. So yeah, like uh, you know, it, Robin's origin is is his uh, Bruce Wayne was out at the circus one day, and then uh, Robin's family was killed uh, by a gangster named Tony Zuko, who uh, uh, was basically trying to get rent money from the circus or protection racket money, and uh, the circus refused, so they cut the type the trapeze uh, cords, and poor Robin's family died, and then Bruce obviously saw a little bit of himself in Robin, and. Uh, you know, adopted him, and then... Are you down here, by the way? Oh, there you are. I'm coming down. I chose the wrong one. I, I, I had to choose the Batwing, of course, you see. Of course, the Batwing. This is my Crate Phantom as well. Oh, there you go. The Crate Phantom yeah. does look the closest to a Batwing out of all the ships in the yeah, game. Man. And you can give it that nice midnight black skin. Yeah, um, it's Now, there's one... Okay, so there's one comic called All-Star Batman, and it's actually by... Um, what's his name? Uh, Frank... Uh, the hell is Miller. the name? Uh, the guy, yeah, Frank Miller. Thank you. The yeah, guy yeah. who did the the most famous Batman stories, Year One and The Dark Knight Returns, who's like yeah, a legend yeah, yeah. In, in in Batman. Um, All Star Batman was a little interesting uh, in that where Ro after Robin dies, rather than Bruce Wayne adopting him and then him finding out he's Batman later, Batman literally kidnaps Robin, puts him in the car, and they go on a sixteen hour drive, just tearing up the street. And he calls Batman. He calls Robin or, or, or Dick Dick Grayson at this point. He calls him a retard. <laughs> like, right? Yeah. He, basically, Robin's like, "Who the hell are you?" And he's like, "What are you retarded? I'm the goddamn Batman." Right. That's literally <laughs> the line in the comic. It's a bit controversial. It's yeah, yeah. a little yeah. aggressive. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, I don't consider it to be like canon, unless maybe it's canon in the in the in the Dark Knight universe, which is like. The darkest, grittiest version of Batman that there is, yeah. but it's it's definitely um, uh, one that that sparked a lot of controversy. Um, there was another more recent uh, comic called uh, Batman: The Damned, which was controversial because it showed Batman's dong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that needed? Yeah. Uh, apparently, for artistic purposes, they, they had to have Batman's dong in it. Um, <laughs> This are, I love Batman controversies, and you know it's like yeah, um, yeah. another one is obviously they killed the second Robin, Jason Todd, and they did that through a phone number, 
where they put out the comic and then had at the very last panel, like, if you think Robin should live, call this number. And if you think Robin should die, call this number. And apparently, yeah, yeah. so the story goes, um, is that the uh, um, uh, someone set up like an auto dialer on the death hotline. So it might have been rigged by uh, one particular person or, you know, a group of people. Uh, <laughs> but they did end up killing Robin. Um, yeah. at, least, at least in comic book terms, because they all come back in the end. Yeah. No one stays dead in comics. No. I've Adam got Bongo back in here as well. Oh, Bongo, Adam how's it going? I've got Sinclair research as well. Wow. All right. How are you guys doing, 07? <laughs> that's why we need a darker, grittier Batman. Why did he become Batman anyway? Well, that's the thing. It's, I always love that, like, Batman, at the end of the day, he's like a guy suffering from mental illness. He's just found an outlet to be, like, super productive about it, right? I can relate to that. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so and uh you know it's it's definitely like you know like like gr it, it, that grief drives his like obsession and at times yeah. you know again like a, a common theme in the batman thing is that you know he's he's um so obsessed so singular minded with this goal that he throws away a lot of relationships and sort of isolates himself so that he can continue this quest right um and that's his flaw right like superman he's weak to kryptonite but other than that he's a freaking swell guy he's a great guy but Batman, you know, at, at his heart, he is like a tortured individual. That's that's what makes him interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, totally. That's the whole thing, isn't it? It's like you never know where the line is. There's no line in a weird way, you know. Yeah. Only, only the Joker really pushed him to find that sort of thing. Well, that's the um, that's why yeah. him and the Joker become interesting because it's like the Joker wants to yeah, make yeah. him like Batman, you oh. know. Um, or sorry, the Joker wants him to make him like himself. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and, and yeah, there's actually been a couple ones too where like Batman and the Joker have teamed up and you know, I, 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 there's even an interesting one called uh, Batman White Knight where um, the Joker reforms and kind of reintegrates with society, goes on medication, becomes like, you know, a politician or something and Batman becomes like an outlawed vigilante so their roles kind of wow. reverse. Yeah, yeah. Um, let, me, let me see here. Adam West is Columbo plus Inspector Clouseau. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, he has his charm, and I mean, like, some days you just yeah. can't get rid of a bomb. Come on, that's one of the greatest lines. They're trying to run to the UN to save the the UN people from, like, the Joker and all the villains, and Robin's like, I'll hail a taxi, and he goes, no, Robin, we're two adults in peak physical condition. Let's run. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah totally. But I love it. It's great. Um, but again, like you said earlier, it's like that the, the, the Bruce Wayne character sometimes can be too robust, I think. He needs that frailty and that sort of damaged feel in him, you know? Mm -hmm. Even though he's, he's a being air playboy, I, I like it when you... You know, I love complex characters in films where it's like there's not just one thing behind them. There's, there's a whole row of things, so you never know if they're going to mess up or not. So it sounds like they're getting out of this film. There's a, there's a great... Um, it was part of the Scott Snyder New 52 run. And there's like a period where Batman, I guess, I can't remember how it happens. He get, gets knocked on the head or the, you know, I think it might be an end game or whatever where uh, him and the Joker have their quote unquote final battle, which, you know, it's never final. Um, and he loses his memory and he forgets that he's Batman. Um, wow. And he just starts living a normal life. And then he finds, he falls in love and sort of, you know, he's doing that. Yeah. While that's happening, Commissioner Gordon decides we need a Batman, so I'll become Batman. And that's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a bit old at the point, but whatever. It, it, it's a cool story. Um, and, then, <laughs> and, and then, you know, sort of Batman, of course, Batman would have this, is he had a device in the Batcave that, should I ever get my memory wiped, this will restore all my memories. Because, you know, um, as Batman, I must prepare for every eventuality. And then it's that whole yeah. debate of, like, you know, do, do I give up this life that I'm living and become Batman? And, of course, you know, he has to become Batman because you need Batman. You need Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah you need yeah. Batman. Uh, um, Scrinson's back as well. Even Scrinson's. Sorry? Scrinson's in the chat. He, he was in there last week asking about, um, asking about Odyssey, wouldn't he, if I remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you, have you tried it out, Scrinson's? Have you been in, in the Odyssey yet? Have you, what are your thoughts? Um, and, and, yeah, by the way, I got to see, um, and this, this is a cherished memory, um, the Toronto Underground Cinema had a screening of the 1960s Batman film, and Adam West showed up to intro it. Wow, and so I was way. in the same theater as Adam West, and he comes Amazing. in and uh, did like a little Q and A, and someone asked like, "Where's Burt Ward?" And he said, "Oh, he's upstairs in the car keeping it warm." <laughs> 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 Which 
which I thought was great. But it was a pleasure to, to have seen him. He's, of course, passed away now. R.I.P. Adam West. Still my favorite Batman. I think uh, um, no one could ever... I, like, I, I, would, I would love if, like, if they're just doing... Let's do random Batman movies and, like, we can do, continue the Robert Pattinson thing. Do the Batfleck. Um, I would love to see them do, like, a, a modern version of the campy 60s one. Yeah. That would be fun. Well, I wonder if we'd ever have any of the films if we hadn't had that live-action series. If it would just stay comic books, like it's a comic film. I think that, in a weird way, if there's a comedy, it kind of made it like, yeah, you can have real to, to Batman stuff. You know, because there was a uh, Avengers mm -hmm. film in the in the seventies, seventy eight or something. An Avengers film in in the seventies? It's hilarious. Nineteen seventy eight. Yeah, I only found it the other week. And it's just it's so bad. I mean, it's great. It's great to watch. There's, there's only like a the best bits of it on YouTube. I think it's, it's that bad a film. Oh my god! I need to re I need yeah. to watch that because I've seen like the 1990s Captain America film, and that is a special kind of bad. Um, <laughs> yeah. One that's yeah. enjoyable though. Um, right. And I've seen like the Roger Corman Fantastic Four one, and that one actually is like pretty all right, um, given what yeah. they what they had to work with. Um, Definitely, I've, I didn't. I wasn't even aware that they had an Avengers film from back then. Does it have like Iron no. Man in it? Uh, I think there's a man with a red hat on that looks like he's got a bid on his head. Oh so, god! Yeah. Oh god! It's, yeah, it looks terrible. Like Captain America's got like a blue <laughs> um, uh, motorbike helmet on. So. Yeah, yeah. And they've got Thor, who looks just like a man with a glued-on yellow beard and hair. But, oh, yeah, look no. it, look it up on them. Um, on YouTube, I think it's, it's quite silly. I'm going to yeah. check that out. Um, let me just read some more comments here. Joe Schwaffer's like, Clark asked Bruce how he got his mom's farm from the bank, and Bruce says offhandedly, I bought the bank. Yes! What was that? What was that, <laughs> what was, what was that from, though? That was from... Um, was that from the Justice League, the Zack Snyder Justice League, or was that Batman v Superman? No, I guess it couldn't be Batman v Superman, because, like, you know, Superman... I'm going to spoil it because it's stupid. Superman fights Doomsday and dies in that movie for no reason at all. Like, yeah. that movie Superman could have been an okay movie. Like, the first 15 minutes actually set up a pretty cool plot. And then yeah, you yeah. get, like, Granny's Peach Tea and Doomsday and all this unnecessary... Like, it just felt like they tried to cram everything into one movie and, like, diluted, like, the what could have been cool. Um, there was a... I want to say I can't remember what the name of the movie was, but there was like an animated movie where like Batman meets Superman for the first time, and like Lex Luthor and the Joker team up, and that's actually a really fun movie. And I don't understand how you know you can have this great animated movie out there and then just like completely cock up the live action one. And I also want to say for the record, I love Ben Affleck as Batman. I think he was a great Batman, a great Bruce Wayne. He just didn't get, I think, the the right movie. Yeah, I don't think they fitted the hat on him very well. He just looked, didn't look quite yeah. good. I, yeah, I liked him as Bruce Wayne. I thought he was quite good. So they... And then the Rowan Bond, Atkinson as Bond... Batman? Oh, please. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> I would love that. It, if, if it was like, yeah. let's make like a remake of the Adam West style of Batman with Rowan Atkinson as Batman, who would be his Robin? <laughs> I have no idea with Rowan Atkinson. Um, that'd be Baldrick from the... Uh... Like Adam, yeah, I don't know actually. Maybe like a Steve, Steve like a young Steve Coogan or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe Steve Coogan here would be good. <laughs> or maybe just an old Steve Coogan who gives a shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I'd love to see that. Yeah, Bat Shark Repellent. Oh my god, that, that, that's that's what I loved about the the kitschy Batman is just like the random gadgets and just how you know the Penguin has an exploding octopus. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally, yeah. <coughs> oh, the 70s uh, Spider-Man. I love that. Yeah, the ja the Japanese Spider-Man, too. Have you seen the Japanese Spider-Man? That's wow, a pretty good seen one. That. Oh, no, Sprint's is saying he's 8K out. And his SRV blew up, so he's scanning oh, no. on foot. Which is not, it's annoying, because you need your SRV to scan quickly, because you've got to run like, so far. But, um, yeah, it does have, have a different angle where you can get out and run around. Basically. Yeah, the SRV certainly helps. We'll try and find one of them uh, fleet carriers floating around the block, yeah. and maybe, uh, maybe you can restock your SRV. Yeah, or Nar is good for that fun nearest one. Mm -hmm. And yes, Ray, there, were ve there was a really good DC run recently. The, the DC Animated Universe actually has some really good interlinking content um, and some really good Justice League and Batman stuff. I... I you know, it's 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 uh, as a, as a Batman fan, it's it's something that um, 
I quite enjoyed it, and, and I, I don't think they're making them anymore. They're, they've changed direction in them. <laughs> Rowan Atkins and Batman, and The Rock as Robin, says Bond. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very unusual Robin. <laughs> it's like Robin yeah, I'd love like, that, like ten times the size of Batman. <laughs> It's just like Batman, you're not scary. You're just you look like Mr. Bean. It's like, well, have you seen my sidekick? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, the fun thing is that that Robin it wears like a yellow cape and bright red, um, and allegedly to distract the criminals, so they'll shoot at Robin, so Batman can go in. And, All right. It's like you're using a child <laughs> as a human bullet yeah. sponge. <laughs> um, Superman for me is unfortunately dull. The uh, for a god who only has one weak list, the amount of kryptonite available is obscene. I agree. And it's like th th they they've constantly like tried to evolve Superman and like let's depower him or make him weaker. Yeah. Um. And it's just it, it's it's that would be a hard guy to write um, stories for and have the stakes be there, right? The stakes are always like you know someone else is going to die or someone's got kryptonite, and it gets a little old when yeah kryptonite is flowing around there like Lavian brandy, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think. think so. but the they, the Iron Man was that popular in the Marvel films because he's like he's not Superman, but he's so good at making stuff. Like he makes a particle accelerator in his back garden, whatever. It's like it yeah. almost he's too powerful. But I think again, down to the actor catching really human, and, um, and they wrote some good parts for him. So it, could, it, could, it could be he's so good it could be boring. Like I say, Superman's got so much power. It's just like it's almost mm -hmm. yeah. What's the point of having him? Something? It's just like, what, what are the stakes, right? Like, Batman, again, he can get shot in the chin. Like, every battle could <laughs> potentially yeah, yeah. go wrong. Whereas, like, Superman, it's, you know, you got to have a specialty or, you know, a giant computer that's the size of a room and Richard Pryor <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's not talk about that movie. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's funny because, like, out of my Superman comics, like, the, the it, and there's actually a line that Batman says to Superman. Um, I, I can't remember which comic it's from. But they're kind of fighting, and Batman walks away from Superman. And he says, "The last time you inspired anyone was when you died." <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of true. Outside of the death of Superman, most of the good Superman stories are origin yeah. stories, and there are like yeah. seven different versions of Superman's origin. And you got to think, like, okay, after you find out how he becomes Superman, what's the, what are the interesting stories? And there really are not that many, and uh, that's a shame. Um, yeah. yeah. You've watched the Japanese Spider-Man? It's even funnier than the Indian Superman. Yeah, Japanese Spider-Man is something else, man. Robin, what are you doing on my windshield? Hey, you don't gotta pay the bill for that. You don't have to clean his stuff. Alfred does. Actually, yeah, I don't have to clean it. It's no big deal. <coughs> I don't think I can do the Batman voice anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, Ray Mob was saying he liked how Spy or Batman actually took down Superman. Like I said, they had to be clever about all that sort of stuff. It was, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, that was that was good bits in the film. Although it's like, it. it's like there's multiple uh, uh, there's multiple times that Batman has had to take down Superman. He's um, uh, what was the what was the, the, like there was one called the Tower of Babel, and oh, yeah, yeah. basically Ras Al Ghul, who if you remember Batman Begins, it was Liam Neeson yeah, from, yeah. from Batman Begins finds yeah. uh, on Batman's computer, like he hacks Batman's system and finds that Batman has a contingency plan for every member of the Justice League on how to defeat them. And so he just steals those and goes and does it. And at the same time, yeah. uh, broadcasting a tower that confuses everyone's language so that no one can understand anyone so that Batman can't warn them. Um, and like Batman had a plan to take down Superman. Robin, yeah, yeah. I, like your, I like your helmet, Robin. Are you a cat or a bat? <laughs> The nearest I could find was Cat and Clogs. So I thought that was about it, really. Something. This is the closest helmet I could get to a Batman helmet. It doesn't quite have yeah. bad ears, but it'll do. It'll do. It'll, it's scary. I mean, you would scare people from that yeah. helmet. Criminals, beware. <laughs> You'd be scared I brought, of me. I brought a pistol, nothing else, though. So I thought, if I had no weapons, we might die really quickly. And I, I think I've got my mm -hmm. punch... Punch yeah, so here are the here are the rules basically because Batman does not use guns, right? So we can use our fists and we can use yeah. um, shield disruptor grenades to get down those oh, shields, yeah. right? And I yeah. would say we are also allowed to use the energy link uh, overload mode, right? Cool. Because that's that's yeah, a disabling yeah. weapon. That's like a taser. So those are, those are basically we can use our fists, we can use the taser, and we can use the shield disruptor grenades and the protector grenades. But um, we have to try to take down everyone in this base. There's 20 people to kill, so we're gonna have to. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to rely on stealth. Uh, we're going to have to rely on yeah. our wits, and we're going to have to rely yeah. on luck, Lady Luck. Um, Lady Luck is going to be good. Yeah. All right. Let's 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 do some of this. Um, great line from the Richard Pryor Superman. I can't have anyone with me who isn't with me. <laughs> is that who said that line? Is that Richard Pryor or is that uh, Lex Luthor? Superman's weakness should be grounded in reality. Like he's never got any money, he can't hold down a job. That would be a very interesting version of Superman, yeah, yeah. where like instead of Clark Kent being like a normal functioning person, he's kind of like he doesn't know what to do. But I think that the problem is Martha raised him too well for that. You know, he's got he did have that like Kansas upbringing, right? So he okay, hold on. Are these guys initially hostile? Oh, they are too. I did like um, Thor's character who ended up becoming a streamer. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alcoholic streamer. I was like, that's, that was a great touch. That was a lot of fun. I do really like Chris Hemsworth as uh, Thor. He embodies that role. Yeah. Okay, it, you know, as a kid, Thor was so pompous and all those things. It was a really annoying thing. It's great. Right, we, we do, we do, we do. We're going to take down Cleo Lang here. I'm going to sneak up behind yeah. and start punching. You ready? Keep an eye. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on everything else. You are done for! Oh shit, she's activated shields! Okay, grenade. Punching. Get, get, get away from her! Uh, the shield's gonna come down. There we go, okay. Oh. I'm Batman! I'm Batman! I <laughs> uh, did it! Justice! Justice has right. been delivered. <laughs> no one saw us as well. We can't good, drag the bodies off. That's in no. There's a light coming. Uh oh. Run, 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 run to the roof, Robin! Run to the roof. The they can't the find shadows. us in the shadows. Oh, I can. He's not happy. Ooh, ooh. Hold on. We got it. We got a problem here. We got a problem here, Robin. Oh. Ah. Uh, the Zaki thing does nothing. Where is he? Oh, is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's in the alarm. For the stealth isn't going too well. What's going on? Oh! I'm the energy chance for moving. Oh no! Gotcha. It's game! <laughs> Robin, we missed! Hard. Yeah, we did! We punched him. Oh, nope, got his shield down. Yeah, nice. We did it. And the alarm didn't go off. Just okay. slowly mauling people to death. Excellent. Like this is great. This is working. Batman is. <laughs> <laughs> Batman is, you know, he makes things hard on himself, but at the end of the day, it's for the right yeah. reasons. Yeah. Uh, the problem is with the, I've, I've um, really lowered my energy. Oh. I need to. Oh, I hear someone. There's some utility belts. Yeah, there's no, I need like extra battery power, packs. Please. Where do we got power? There's Below a us? charger. I think there's a charger. Is it in the building or not? I'll jump down and look. It might oh, be inside. Someone, someone. Oh wait, around. yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was oh, you. Geez. Someone's down. Yes, yeah, that's just someone saw him, but I jumped away. She's on the roof. She's coming. On the roof. Yeah, it's on the roof. Oh yeah, I see them. I see them. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna power up. Very quiet. Are you gonna zap her? I can always go and talk to you zap her. What you got? Her? I'm Batman! <laughs> oh, I'm coming to punch her. Oh. Okay. Uh. uh run away, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <coughs> I think the alarm's gonna go off oh this time. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, health pack. Right. I'm out of grenades, Robin! <laughs> They're on the roof, there's two on the roof. We should, we've got to do good cop, bad cop, I think, to deal with this. We've got to... Oh, they're coming, uh -oh. they're coming. Run away, run away! <laughs> yeah, let's just go and, let's go hide in the, the bat area. Where oh yeah, they? yeah, we'll go, go recharge at the ship, actually, that's a great idea. Oh yeah, yeah. They can restock and get more grenades. Those will those will be critical. Yeah, okay, the alarms like... are going off, but that's okay. That's okay. That just makes things I mean, more interesting. It means they're more alarmed. We're not. We're, we're calm. You see. Where are you, Robin? Uh, Greg Pennington is following uh, <laughs> me to the ship. Oh, is he? Oh, we okay. He's actually following quite fast. Is he? Oh, oh yeah. Where? That's right. Oh, I wonder if I can sneak up by. Uh, I get him on me. He's on a rock there. What's he doing? I'm gonna try and sneak behind him. Okay, I'm gonna grenade him. He's stuck on a rock. Oh, he's bouncing back at you. I'm Batman! Justice! I am the knight! I am the knight! 
Well done. That's another one for justice. Oh, oh behind us. Oh, yeah. oh. I got behind us. Grenade, back. grenade, look out. Justice! Oh. My parents are dead! <laughs> oh. oh, oh, another one! Yeah. Uh, out of grenades, restock! There's this three is, of them. This is good, we can wow. lure them near the ship. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then, uh, can, use, the sh up. use the shields of the ship as a, uh, uh, a barrier. It's quite hard to punch when they've got a rifle in your face, but it doesn't stop me. Oh, hold on, my escape key fell off. Uh, <laughs> They're running away now. Are they? Oops, it's got to power up a bit more. That's because fear is a weapon. <laughs> Can I get two of their shields down with one grin, or, or maybe not. No, just so Justice! Oh, where are they gone? Oh man, oh, they got lasers. They really get you. But thankfully, they can't do much damage after the sh after the shields are down, though. Oh yeah, because they got laser weapons. Punching them in the stomach, in the guts. Why won't you submit to justice? What are you doing on this rock? <laughs> <laughs> You won't die though. I'll we'll just gonna have to punch you to your shields go away. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, right, yeah. Oh, there's one over there. Uh oh. Need more grenades. Back to the ship. Retreat oh, Robin, there's oh. three of them! <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> oh god, oh god. It's difficult to punch someone when they have a rifle in your face. It That's is, the quote yeah. of the day. Oh, All right, cool grenade out. Though, but... Yeah, I haven't got any grenades on me, so I use my grenade gun to punch myself a lot. Yeah. Okay, I missed. Oh, I'll see if I can. Here we go, here we go, his shield's down. Oh, come on. I won't go down so easy. The Dark Knight strikes again! Oh, she fought back! With the punch. Oh, they just shoot you at point black range with their lasers. Just lasers. I'm bulletproof. You can punch the shields down eventually. It's actually yeah. I'm actually surprised at how effective this is. Oh, oh, once you punch the shields down, you can then um, you can then taser them. So that's good. True, true. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the taser. Okay, let me restock my grenades again. Those have turned out to be very invaluable tools. We're actually yeah. almost halfway done this mission. Yeah, I must get my health packs back. Resupply. I like that it's a one-click uh, button. Yeah, yeah. But what does that mean? Did, like, did all did you bring along all of your supplies onto my ship? Yeah, I think so. I've got a massive in, suitcase that, that you carry around all your outfits in. <laughs> uh, my Robin case. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. I've got like staff and everything. It's the bat case. <laughs> all right, Robin. Oh, we have to find more on. crime. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Where are the criminals? Yeah, wow, yeah. Oh, we should have cloned some of their profiles to get inside oh, yeah, to well, we... uh, buildings. Actually, hold on. Before hold the up. bodies disappear, let's go back and clone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's steal their identities. Now, Batman also, uh, what I love about Batman is there, there also are, like, alternate identities. So, for example, uh, sometimes Batman will disguise himself as Matches Malone. And really? Just, yeah, like Bruce Wayne is, you know, this master of disguise, and he will, uh, yeah. you know, sort of dress up like a criminal, infiltrate their gangs, get in with them, and then, uh, you know, sooner or later the Batman shows up because he knew their plans. Yeah, yeah. Right, so this right. lot won't have shields, so we can tase them. Oh, there's some power. Ooh, I'll push your energy packs. Oh, I don't need them. Oh, yeah, we've reached out. Oh, okay. All right, Robin. Go. We have to stop crime. And also, we can loot some stuff. For your criminal, you. you're making the drugs. Stop making the drugs. Justice is here. <laughs> Ooh, electromagnet. Tasty loot. What? Well, what is Robin's voice? That I don't know what it is. Uh, ho holy G Williger is Batman. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Oh, more criminals. It's like, uh, like, yeah, he always says, like, like, uh, you know, 
by the by the mother of Grey Goose Batman. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, from the... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's different. Okay, I think we've yeah. we've yeah. Cl cleansed this area from crime. And while we're here, you know, there's some good loot. I'm, I'm gonna take some loot. Cleansing. We're cleansing, aren't we? Crime is quite good. We are yeah. bringing justice and vengeance to this system. Yeah, data is what I actually want. And while we're at it, we are filling our pockets with the the spoilings, the trappings of justice. Ooh, graphene. We'll take that. Yoink. Oh, still don't have level 3 access. Do any of those guys at level 3? Let's take their profiles. Um, Batman there. fits the base. Well, I wouldn't put it like, quite that way, because that could be interpreted a different way. Deploy the bat fists. <laughs> I'm stuck up here, hanging through this door. Where are you? I'm just outside the door. Still there, is Hello. Hello. You couldn't open that? I couldn't open it, no, it's weird. This guy's level 3 here. Robin, you're not wearing your mask. Oh no, our identities. <laughs> oh shit, I'm not wearing my mask either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the alarms. We'll turn those off. Yeah. They won't even see us coming. Oh, uh, there's sometimes data around here. It's true, and I need energy. There's an energy thing there, yeah. This is actually work. I thought we were going to die very quickly. I did not think this would work as well. Ooh, get rid of those authorization scans. Yeah, totally. Now we don't need access. We can go anywhere we want. Be anywhere we want. We could be the heroes this settlement needs. Don't we're the ones who deserve. <laughs> <laughs> I just seriously don't understand how Christian Bale did that voice for three movies. <laughs> uh, yeah, he must have really practiced something. <coughs> it does hurt the throat. Yeah. Sample containment units. This is where they're manufacturing a virus. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> okay, never again. Never again. You heard enough yeah, yeah. of that. But it's good, it's good, though. I like it. I think we've cleared this uh, whole little facility. I do like um, how every Batman has kind of a different Batman voice, like their own like yeah, distinct yeah. take on it. Christian Bale's, I think, was a little bit, a little bit much. Like yes, could, could have yeah. toned it down a little bit and still been good, but uh, I think his Bruce Wayne, um, like, like as much as I love the Nolan films, like Batman looked a little odd in his costume, and yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. they had the voice and everything. He was a little bit goofy, but um, Bruce Wayne was, I think, like really well um, represented. Alright, what do we got over here? Anyone in here? I'm Batman. Should've I'm gonna shock you. With my bat taser. I can't help but do the voice. <laughs> oh, <no>. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like, yeah. I'm like, don't do the voice, but I have to. <laughs> Ooh, we, bat, we can take their bat power regulator. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's let's uh, do that last. That way, if we do find any data pads, yeah, go um, to the bat reactor last, can't we? Yeah, I'm lost. I've lost you. I'm in the power uh, facility. Yeah, I, I go around the circles in a proper Robin way. <laughs> oh, Wait, why are the alarms still on? Didn't we shut those off? Yeah, they often just keep flashing. I think. Oh, it's kind of like the uh, yeah, the lights are kind of broken. Once you turn them on, they just don't turn off. But also, I like how um, the EDHM extends to your Odyssey HUDs. This is the really cool thing about that app. Yeah. Is I can uh, actually see, like, you know, customize my Odyssey HUDs and make them look a little different. Which just, you know, it adds some dimensions to the game. Sound fun. like Bat Nixon. I am not a crook. I am destroy crooks. Another criminal. Down. I need to stop doing the voice. <laughs> oh, data pad, data pad, Robin. Oh, oh well, hey, job application and union membership. Oh, oh well, okay, anyway, as well. Do you need grenades, Robin? Shield disruptor. Need a circuit switch? No one needs a circuit switch. I didn't bring my. I should bring my cutting suit because I've got all this, all this other stuff. I'm stupidly in the Artemis suit. I don't know why. So there's a nice. Hey, 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 I'm a millionaire, Robin. We don't need to go scavenging oh, yeah, for materials. Course, yeah, yeah. We can just get Alfred to put in a purchase order for yeah. them. 
but materials are always nice. And I find, like, whenever I do missions, I'm just like, if there's a material ward, a cash ward, like, I, yeah. I'll, I'll take the materials because time is money. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, and it's not too bad to get money. I like said you did some missions after stream, didn't you? So just like, so yeah. Oh, a criminal Robin. It's Two Face. They're running. They're trying to run from us. I'll punch you in your faces. <laughs> oh. The Joker. Get him. Back to Arkham with you. Truman Blankenship. That's a great name. <laughs> You cannot fight with the bat. <laughs> this is quite good. I quite like punching away the Wow, there's a lot of stuff there. It's like, it's way more effective than I thought it would. Ooh, data pad. Yeah. Ooh, chemical inventory. And clinical child records. And seed ge genealogy. Wait, did you hear something, Robin? Nope. I had a weird noise then. Oh, chemical inventory. Uh, seed genealogy. Yeah, do you get the same data as I do when yeah, we're looking we at the same data pad? It's the best thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Good. So if like I found opinion polls and you found opinion polls, we could both download. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's nice. A good touch. I thought they were going to be really old-fashioned frontier and not let us have more than one version. But yeah. yeah, right. Do you, you hear a weird noise? Like I said, I heard like a door. I think is there. Yeah. There's someone dead in the door. Like, oh, weird horse noise. <laughs> Imagine if there were horses in Elite. Like instead of an SRV, you could put a horse in your uh, yeah. in your cargo bay, and then you just take it out on an atmospheric world, and it just dies because <laughs> there's no air. Ooh, did it? Yeah. And you Production the reports, oh, exploration nice. journals. I'll take those. Technically, this is illegal, Robin, but uh, we're gonna be okay with this. Hey, good night, Scrinsons. Thanks for joining. I know I went on a little bit late right. today. Oh, sorry, I um, took the mum out for uh, for brunch. Martha. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and I went a little bit late. There was a little bit of a wait at the uh, restaurant, but uh, it was a good time. Oh, here we go. I was looking for energy. Go welcome. And yeah, I mean, as you can see, Batman is a viable tactic. Like it is. Yeah, we are actually doing this, and there's like I thought twenty people. We're not. We're gonna fail that, but no, we we actually win. Yeah, I'm in an Artemis suit. Well, wow, this is like a tough one. I think we killed all the outside guards because there's no more of them. We yeah, only have yeah. to get, we have to get one more guy, one more guy to pay for his crimes. Let's see, is there anyone and these here? These guys are all indoors. Oh, hello. Like, there he is. Alyssa there Bryan. Is. Alessia Bryan. Yeah. Now, these STO facilities always like have trouble finding the entrance. It's kind of like hidden, yeah, yeah. hidden over here. Here we go. Justice is coming. I'm a hit. Found you. Whoa! Victory! Wow! Look at that. That was quite a death. We did it, Rob. Wait. Okay. Objective complete. Objective complete. Hey. Yay! And usually these STOs actually have some pretty good stuff. You'll find like. Um, Titanium yeah. plating or carbon fiber. Oh, no more data. Campaign plans, yeah. tax records. Oh, wow. Cool. Literary fiction, cocktail recipes, and travel permits. I'll take it all. Yeah, might as well. Campaign plans, I guess, aren't I think um, cocktail recipes as well, if you sell them to bartenders, I think after a certain amount, you get um, like an intro to one of those engineers. Yeah, I've got I've got two more things to get for another engineer. I'm going to get my night vision, I think. Mm. I can't remember what it is. I did write it down a bit of paper. But, um, yeah, Batmaning does work, doesn't it? I like it. I think, yeah. And I mean, technically, sure. I'm pretending that they're not actually. Oh, 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 tungsten carbides. What? Oh, I need those. Hey. It's like when you find stuff that you're like specifically looking for. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. But, um. So don't, don't hunt for it when you find it. Like, yes. <laughs> I could use some power. Where is the power there's, thing? There's I see like power pack here. Oh yeah, screw it. I'll just take one. Yeah. I like to be uh, use the renewable power sources, but uh, in a Eco pinch. Friendly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, it's all these plastic cartridges. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Polystyrene hats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, <laughs> back to the ship, Robin. Where's the ship? Then? The bat ship. The bat wing. Just follow me. I'll follow you. Yeah. Grab one of. The Gosh, what are those Star Wars, uh, Star Wars Nine Horses? What? Nine Horses? What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Star yeah. Wars Nine. Oh, like the, um, 
You're talking about the uh, one where it's like they're on that casino planet or something? And there's no, like they, the... they, at, at the end, they charge across the Star Destroyer, don't they? A, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. God, I don't remember that. And I, I don't want to. I don't want no. to. It's a great moment. It's just, it's just like, this is where it's like, you see a movie like The Batman and you're like, yay, the artist who respects the source material and like, you know, brought something new to the, the genre. And then you watch like the last Star Wars movie and you're like, oh, this was designed by a boardroom of like corporate people that don't understand yeah, what yeah. they're doing. Too much money and not enough sense, yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, I like the first Star Wars trilogy. I like the Mandalorian, but like, yeah, I liked Rogue One. Rogue One, I thought was pretty good. It was cool. Yeah, I like the first half of the of the the Ray one, whatever that was called. Um, first half when she came when she came as you know on on Tatooine and stuff. I like that and the um, oh, Finn. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. We gotta go, Robin. Are you on the ship? Are you on the ship? I'm on the ship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, because we're being shot at. We forgot to disable the thingies. Oh yeah, yeah. That's fine. We can go into the night. Back to the back cave. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't mind The Force Awakens. I mean, I kind of like, it was like, okay, this isn't, um, you know, this isn't like better than any of the original Star Wars movies, but in terms of a soft reboot, it was okay. It, it was, yeah, it, it was yeah. enjoyable. We got a little bit of nostalgia, but, um, you know, they yeah. moved some things forward. There was some, you know, like, oh, another Death Star. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but then by the third movie, when it's like the Emperor is back and he's just got an <laughs> army of Death Star ships, like yeah, I'm yeah. like I, I, I kind of like okay, maybe another Death Star wasn't wasn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. compared, that's compared, really quite yeah. simple then. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I think the first three lines of a lot of the last film was like, what? Oh, the uh, thing's back, and it's, it's like, what? I hey, if you didn't read that bit, the film made no sense. At all. Oh yeah, oh yeah. By the way, the Emperor is back. Didn't you know? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, we just thought of this. How? <laughs> How? I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like you had all the seeds there too, like the Clone Wars, you know, cloning. Yeah. yeah and it's yeah. like, but you just didn't bother to set any of that up. Like, why? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I hadn't thought about it. So this is one thing I appreciated about the Batman is at no point do we ever see Batman's yeah. parents get shot in an alley. Mm, cool. No pearls falling on the pavement. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at this point, it's every single Batman movie does it, and it was so refreshing that this yeah. movie just like, yeah, we get it. Like, are there you know, any bats? That's all. Um, there are, there are bats. That's cool, yeah. Um, the there's actually a great little uh, um, sequence with a bat, um, but like, not like I, I think one of my favorite sequences from Batman Begins was when he uses the sonic device and summons the army of bats. Totally unrealistic, but somehow, even though the Christopher Nolan films oh, yeah, were yeah, like yeah. Super realistic, it just yeah. was so damn cool. Like I think yeah, that was... that's that's a that's a key Batman move, you know, is like summoning oh, yeah. his army of bats. Um, yeah, that was cool. Not so much a superpower, so much as you know, like uh, uh, technology and pseudoscience. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, can you imagine if he set that off and there was only like one bat that could hear it in the area, and then just like this one bat shows up? He's like, "Go get your friends." <laughs> You're supposed to be more. <laughs> yeah. Just, just gavin the bat. To <coughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> you know, it's just like that. That you know, the, I, 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 I love. And that's the thing is, like you know, I think Batman initially was afraid of bats, right? Like as a kid, he fell in the well, yeah, yeah. and the bats came at him, and they were his like greatest fear. And then he's like, I will become my my greatest fear. You know, he beats yeah, yeah. his fear and then becomes it. It's lucky he wasn't scared of clowns or something. I know, right? Like <laughs> <laughs> goldfish, it's like weird. I will become my fear. <laughs> yes, father. Bat wars. I will become yes, a cloud. I the Batman, Ray Mobius says. The Bat, the Bat wars. wars. Oh my god! All right. A sci-fi version of Batman. Now that would actually be like so. Like, what sci-fi yeah. superhero movies do we have? There's like Guardians of the Galaxy, I guess. Like Star yeah, yeah, Wars, yeah. is Luke Skywalker a superhero? Because the Jedi have phenomenal, you know, yeah. superhuman ability. They can jump yeah. really high. They can shoot bullets with a sword, a laser sword. You know, like yeah. the Jedi, I would say are are superhero. Maybe if not in yeah, like yeah. like in canon definition, then by our standards. Yeah, but what yeah, other what other superheroes do we have in um... the future? 
in the future. There must be some, mustn't there? I'm trying to think of the other galaxy worlds, I think. But again, they're not in the future, they're in our time, aren't they? So it's just that once you get off Earth, everything's all mm -hmm. like all the old Marvel ones. Suddenly, there was you know just massive, crazy cosmic stories going on, which were bonkers as a kid. Yeah, yeah. But I would love to see, yeah, more like superhero sci-fi. Um, like you know, like he's a, he's Batman, but he's Batman of the galaxy, and he goes from planet to planet, solving crimes and helping people where yeah, need be. I'd like to see some like non-Earth based sci-fi, I mean, where it's like just a proper fantastical mm. sort of futuristic, what would we call it? Like, I suppose Dune was that sense of, of being in a different place, you know what I mean? That Which one? Great. The Dune film. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that was actually a sci-fi not set on Earth. Usually mm -hmm. it was like, yeah, they'll make it sort of real somehow. That, yeah, Dune was, Dune was cool, and I can't wait to see what they do with the sequel, because um, if you've read the books, yeah. you know that there's a lot of story. In there's Dune, a lot. And some yeah, yeah. really, like, most of the cool parts of Dune are kind of, like, after um, Arrakis Falls. Yeah, yeah, so totally. it's like, ooh, the second that's part's way juicy. Daughter, watching my daughter, she was like, oh, it just felt like the start of a film. It just started mm -hmm. and it stops, I think. I was going, well, the book's gone forever. I mean, they're like 10,000 years later. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Always style things. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, like I'd like to see like, yeah, and Foundation was another uh, pretty cool sci-fi yeah, yeah. show that, like, you know, there's no, there's no Earth in it. Um, yeah. But I definitely like, yeah, I like the genre, and I'd like to see more. Um, though, 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 you know, um, shows like The Expanse, like even though that's in the Sol system and has Earth in it, it was still like a pretty cool, refreshing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, refreshing piece of sci-fi. I heard that Picard uh, season two is out now, or at least starting oh, to come out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like oh, I'm, I'm, heard... you know, I'm, I'm a little more, uh, I guess, like, like conservative with my expectations, based on yeah. like some of the, the the latest Star Trek stuff. But I'll give that a watch and see. Hopefully, maybe it's uh, better than season I'm... one. Yeah, I really enjoyed like the first two episodes of Picard. Yeah, it didn't feel very Star Wars, Star Trekky, and then suddenly it was like they brought all the people back in. And it was like the, the gangs back together, and I was a bit like, I wanted again. I wanted it to sort of step away from that. Yeah, because that is their IP. That's what they do, isn't it? The only episode of that show that I truly, truly enjoyed was the second last one where Riker comes in, and that was a great episode. Yeah. And they still have like Patrick Stewart and Jonathan Frakes have such great chemistry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. just like yeah, yeah. Yeah. why didn't you make a Riker show and just make mm -hmm. it like it's like Riker and, and he's got to train the new guy that would be I, I would watch that hands down you don't need to have mm -hmm. any action it can just be Jonathan Frakes <laughs> getting pissed off at some ensign you know and dressing him down and stuff like that and that would be amazing but uh, <laughs> um, there was yeah, also yeah, yeah. like but okay like compared to Star Trek Discovery uh, I did enjoy Picard more than that. Um, like there were glimmers of hope um, amidst it. Some great scenes or moments that felt Star Trek-y like, but then some of them like, it, it was kind of like, like there was that one episode where they're like, let's disguise ourselves as like French smugglers and go down into this planet. And <laughs> yeah. it was like, okay, um, I guess that's Star Trek-y is like, you know, like, Oh yeah, we found a planet that's stuck in like 1960s culture. Uh, we gotta put on 1960s contemporary clothes and go down and integrate with the populace. Come on, yeah. Robin. Get on the ship. Oh, it's Storm. Alfred's gotta clean the windshield because yeah. you stepped all over it. <laughs> Riddick would be space Batman. <coughs> oh yeah, true, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a proper space world. So is he is he like a Batman or what? What would Riddick be closest to in terms of superheroes? Yeah, he's kind yeah, of Batman. -y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little bit Punisher. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing Vin Diesel play the Punisher. I like uh, I liked John Bernathal or whatever his name was. Yeah, he was cool, right, wasn't he? Yeah. All right, let's I'll catch on this. I oh, did, did like the. Did I not I share think... share this with you? Damn it! I don't know. I think he did it. I I got a mission complete, but it doesn't matter. I've got loads of money. All right, I'm taking the money. It's good just punching people. <laughs> it is. We're definitely going to need yeah. another one. Yeah, but like, yeah, is yeah. there or is there a different mission type that would be hard? You can't scan Discovery. Yeah, like Discovery. Like there are a couple moments. Like I, I didn't finish season one, and there were a couple moments in it that were cool. But like overall, I was just like, this is not Star Trek. Like this is trying so hard to be different, but then it's like, why? Why do you? I don't know. I just didn't like yeah, it. Yeah. 
Um, so we could do a sabotage mission, disrupt the production. Like maybe that's like people making drugs, yeah. and we have to like, yeah. you know, stop the drugs. Tyler, we've been good. That'd be good. Okay, let's try sabotage. Co a covert? No, no, no. Just like regular uh, sabotage or covert? Yeah, right, right here. Because we'll probably we'll have to go and turn alarms off anyway, we? but it'd be annoying to fail it because we just got spotted. Although we'll be so covert anyway because we are in black. That's true. You can't see us <laughs> if to turn off the <laughs> yeah, turn off the lights. Yeah. There's also a non-violent heist, but I don't think it's the game's definition of violence is the same as what we're defining. But no, it also I has think... manufacturing instructions as a prize. Oh, I do need some of those. I know. Yeah. Um, How many? Five. Five. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, eh, we could That's do that one. one. We could do that one after, just do it properly. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> right yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm taking it, because I'll, I'll share these yeah, with yeah. you. But I guess, like, I have to share them one at a time. Um, and let me just see if there's one, maybe one work. more. Because um, they're saying with the the update coming in with the fleet carriers, the only thing they said was there's a new type of mission for you to try. I like, noticed that! What do you think it is? Yeah. Just I don't know, because like, part of me goes, oh, it could be amazing, and part of me goes, oh, I'm just going to be like, go and collect some stew from a pot. It's <laughs> like, really, like, you face it. But I'm, I don't know, I'm hoping it'll be like, a, yeah. using the, the NPC in bases mechanic, where you go and get something, I don't know, something, I don't know, I don't know what it's going to be, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious. I mean, like, and, and does it tie into Fleet Carrier Interiors in any way? Yeah, because the only other thing I was thinking was all these settlements have jail cells, don't they? They have they have security areas, and they're all empty. And so there's, I always wondered if are they going to have spring someone out or that sort of thing, you know, mm. as a uh, mission type. But then we'd have to get them to a ship. And what, I, don't, I don't know. But I thought that's something that could be there. I would love to see Who something knows? like that. Yeah, um, yeah, it would be cool. All right, so let's do this this um, disrupt production first. So I'll share that mission yeah, with yeah. you. Cool. So we have to go. So the, I guess the, the the Batman explanation for this will be that at the Fournier Botanical Biosphere, they're manufacturing an illegal drug uh, operation, and we have to take yeah. their biochemical agent and stop their uh, stop them from making the drugs. Yeah, the save line, the children. That's what it is. To the yeah. To the Batmobile. I should just call it. I should just it's a bat wang. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's it's crazy too because like um, after the Bat Wang was published in, in Batman uh, the Damned or whatever, um, yeah, the, the, it, immediately there was this big controversy. So they republished it, but kind of like it's like in the shadow or whatever. So they just kind of like you know like oh just shadow up the the Wang. We don't want to see Batman's Wang. <laughs> and so like the, there's editions out there with Batman's Wang, and they were going on eBay for like insane prices. And I'm like, who is gonna pay like two thousand I mean, bucks yeah. to get a Batman's Wang? Like just draw it yourself. Just take any Batman comic, draw a wang on it. There you yeah. go. Like, <laughs> did he have like bat-shaped pubes or anything? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I never saw Batman's wangs personally. It was, oh. uh, um, but I you know it's definitely it's like it's curious. Is it bat-shaped? Is he's <laughs> 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 my bat penis. <laughs> All right, so we gotta head to actually is this the right place <laughs> sherlock is that where we're going hold on disrupt the production at fournier no that's the other one uh that is over here all right so still batman rules apply we can't use guns yeah i'll put my guns away and no guns uh... we can only use fear and justice and fists <laughs> 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 Fear justice and fists. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. But yeah, uh, you know, going back to the Batman, I'll, you know, um, if you want, if you haven't read a lot of uh, comic books, um, uh, and, and want to kind of, I don't know, like prep or get in the get in the mood for it before going, I would recommend uh, the Long Halloween. Um, right. If, if you if this is like your first Batman comic, the Long Halloween, I think is like. A great detective story um, you know the focus is more on the mafia guys but you have a lot of like calendar man is in it and two-face it's actually the two-face origin story um, oh, okay cool 
And this one draws heavily from that style. Like, it's certainly not an adaptation of The Long Halloween. That would be closer to, like, The Dark Knight um, uh, Begins. I, I, I can't remember. Was it just The Dark Knight? The Dark Because then there's The Dark Knight Rises, right? Revenge yeah, yeah. of the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight 2, this time it's personal. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, where's my... Dude, 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 bat wing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Robin, remember to tuck in your bat wang. We don't want the enemies uh, knowing who we are by yeah. seeing our wangs or our faces. Um, either way, they can identify us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, and uh, I will say too, like the the Batman suit in this uh, latest Batman movie, it is dope. Um, it's right. really really cool. There's some cool stuff, like he can detach his. Uh, bat symbol and use it as like a knife like there's some cool like utility to it um and i don't know how i feel about this i think it's probably the right move but like um it is like a bulletproof suit like he does get shot a lot right. by people you can see this in the trailer so it's not a spoiler yeah, yeah. but he'll get yeah. shot at and it's like you know he's got armor right and and despite that you can sometimes he'll take some hits and like you can tell that like he's feeling it under there but um I love the Kevin Conroy Batman the Animated Series logic where he doesn't wear armor because he wants his enemies to know that he still bleeds, that he's just a man. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. he wants them to know yeah. that, like, yeah, it's just a guy who defeated you. He's not Superman. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, totally. But it's this hurt. this plays more on, like, the is he even a man? Like, is this guy, like, a shadow? He's a legend. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, right, right. Which right. the Christian Bale stuff, I think, set up really well, right? Where, like... Christian yeah. Bale's like the logic of like, okay, I'm not crazy, Alfred. I'm dressing up like a bat for a very good reason, right? It's yeah, about yeah, a yeah, symbol yeah. and it's to, you know, create that fear. This movie really does that well, really represents like why Batman is, is you know, not just some crazy dude. Cool. Man, it was good. <laughs> you have the it's music. Great, it's annoying when films aren't good, you know what I mean? You get really hyped from it. It's like you want to have that feel, don't you? Believe me, when, when they cast Ben Affleck as Batman, I was excited because I thought Ben Affleck was a great casting choice. I think he, and he's, I think he was fantastic as Batman. But And seeing the trailer for Batman v Superman, I'm like, oh, okay. I would have liked to seen just like a Batman movie, but yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. cool. I'm hyped. And that was yeah. such a disappointment. Um... I tried to really like it. I really wanted to like it, you know? Yeah. But it, um, yeah, it just, it Same. just, yeah, yeah. I really went into Again. that one being like, I, you know, I know I'm going to be disappointed, but I've lowered my expectations and I'm going to walk out and it's going to be, it's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it was, it was like, like it was at times so bad that it was laughable. Not quite to <laughs> yeah. the degree of the Justice League. The Justice League was like a complete shit show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just the, the Joss Whedon cut. I actually liked the Zack Snyder um, long right. cut, the, the Snyder cut. Um, uh, Do you ever watch it? It's like four hours. I don't think I've seen that cut, no. I don't think I've seen the other one. It was amazing how different it was, like how much changed. Yeah. Well, I can imagine in all films, it's like, they might have to cut out to make it fit the shape. It's such, it's such a hard length of time to make work, I think. You know, when when you watch these sixteen episode long series we watch now, oh yeah, some about like an hour long. It's like sixteen hours. You can you know, you've got more time to do stuff. Whereas you go to cinema over ninety minutes, and people are getting bored sort of thing. So I like a good two two and a bit hour film really. But um, because I think you need that long sometimes to get everything done. Yeah, and and honestly, it's just like the four hour Justice League movie versus the two hour mm -hmm. one. Like like, there's so much extra story that gets cut out and. Yeah, yeah. The pacing of it actually feels okay. Um, right. And definitely, it's one of those movies where, like, yeah, you can have an intermission and go eat dinner and come back and watch the second half. It's like <laughs> yeah, watching, yeah, yeah. It's like watching two movies in a row. Um, that's cool, really. But, you know, I think, like, you know, in this day and age of streaming, that's one thing, because I went to the theater to see The Batman, and yeah. I haven't really been to the theater that, that often lately, you know, because of reasons. Oh. oh, by the way, look at the nice yeah. rainbow rings on that's Alioth right, 1 to the left. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very, very, very nice. They're but, not very black, though. They're a bit bright for Batman. It's very pretty. There's Batman like, oh, there's actually bright. a third. There's a third set of rings that's, like, dark. Oh, they're, they're dark. Yeah, I didn't see them at first. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's actually a really they're cool bat, one. bat rings, they are. 
Good old Alioth, you know, discover the sites. This is like a well-known capital system, but how often do you just yeah. go around and look at and appreciate the the sites in Elite? Um, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, like you know, you know, it's like we become so used to streaming movies at home, and you know, hey, I want to pause the movie and go poo poo. Fine. Um, <laughs> you know, I want to go out on my balcony yeah. and, and you know, like enjoy the last bit of sunset. You know, like get up and make a snack or, or whatever. I'll put subtitles on. You know, having that that sort of freedom to watch the movie at your own pace, and then you go to a theater, and you know, you get in, you snuggle in with your popcorn, your pop, and by the time the trailers are over, you've already eaten all of it and drank all the pop, and then you go, uh oh, because in about forty minutes, I'm gonna have to pee, and then yeah, yeah. you're spending the last hour of the movie just being like, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like trying to piss myself, and they always turn the heating off in the middle. It seems to me, all cinema, it's just freezing. Yeah, yeah. And then it, when it gets hot at the end, you're just like really red hot. You want to piss yourself, and you're just like, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and I went to a, a VIP cinema, and there's smaller screens. And you know, I, I, there was one part of me that was like, "No, I should see this in IMAX." But I like the yeah. VIP experience because you know you're sitting there, and there's maybe 16 people in the room, and even though it's a smaller it's screen, it's dark, and you, you yeah. know you get absorbed in it, um, and you get much nicer chairs. And I'm a tall guy, so I, you know I need the knee space, right? Um, yeah. So I'm sitting there, and the, the cool thing is too, you can order food during the pre-show, and they actually bring it to you like a restaurant. Um, I didn't know that, so I just went and got my got me popcorn, and yeah. I'm sitting there, and then the movie's about to start, and then either side, the, the people left to me like ordered a burger meal, like uh, who eats the theater food really, like you know, like popcorn, yeah, yeah, but like you know, a burger combo, and then the person to the right of me ordered like some like pulled pork poutine. And then, wow. just as the movie's starting up, all I can smell is their food, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Bastards. And I, yeah, yeah. Well, he said, oh, whatever. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, that's yeah, the, yeah. the price you pay. But um, it definitely was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like there are some downsides to uh, um, the cinema. But thankfully, no one talked. No cell phones went off. People were very respectful. Cool. I felt bad at, at a certain point because I crinkled the popcorn bag at a, at a terse moment. <laughs> You become so conscious of what, um, of how you're eating when you're in those theaters, right? Yeah. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. I'm not going to land on the landing pad because uh, we want to be stealthy here. Which one is this to disrupt the drugs processing to the, the gods? Yes. Say, yeah. So how we have to do this, and I think we have to get rid of the alarms first. So let me just see here. Oh. Disrupt production. Uh, we have to steal a biochemical agent. It's what they use to manufacture the, bat, the bat drugs. So I have to go into the industrial bit and find those sound containment things. So we should maybe do the go and talk to someone and then zap one of us, zap them maybe. If that's not too boring. Well, so. Robin, I like your, I like your outfit. Um, yeah, try to change. <laughs> so I think what we gotta do is. Oh, oh, oh no, actually, we have to insert the contaminant. Okay, so we have to disrupt them by inserting oh. bat chemicals into their bat manufacturing uh, process. Oh. Hey, yeah. So I think bat the chemical. first. The bat chemicals. For, yeah. First, we have to find the alarms, and we have to disable well, those because yeah. we don't want any unwanted company. But actually, hold on. Here we have a citizen here. Oh, zero pro. What? They don't even trust you to get in the doors. Search. This poor Isla, right. Isla Fields is just like wandering around out here because she got her access restricted. Um, but yeah, we got to find someone to take their profile, and then we got to sneak in, find the alarms. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So like a one. In the it's a soldier. I don't want yeah, them scanning us. Scanning. We're not wanted, are we? Oh, yeah, it's covert. Uh, I don't think we're actually a covert mission, but I can't help me. like We've got we bat, bat disguises, aren't we? Yeah. Well, everything that Batman does is, is kind of covert. Yeah, yeah. It's secret. Um. So we have to find someone that we want to take their identity. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Johanna Barr over here is a guard, but I think I can sneak up behind her. This, okay, Robin, be ready with punching if this goes south. Okay. Where is she? Oh, she's gonna scan me. Come on. Come on, get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let her scan you. Really? Oh, hey, come on, turn around then. She's just finished scanning me now. Oh, she's got a gun out. She's... I'll stand here. You keep her distracted, Robin. Yeah. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. 
Okay, Robin, let her go. All right, we'll we'll be able to get in here with that with this profile, and then we can find someone higher rank inside. I'll hold the door. Go. Hold the door. <laughs> that was a fun bit of Game of Thrones. Hodor's name. It's Hold the door. Hold the door. Ooh, there's some good data in there if we want to come back later. All right, do we have anyone in here? Who, ooh, this could be actually the thing we need to open. Yeah, it might be one of the swap containments. Is there anyone in here? There's a, there's a, a terminal open. I was going to look at the terminal. There's a, there's a guy oh, behind me outside, there. I think. I'll look for the swap containment. Well, that's just a sharpshooter. Is this the thing we need to get to? I think so. We're in the warehouse? I think so. Uh -huh. I haven't got high enough put level to look. Come on, have a look on this thing. Oh, I think I need level two. This yeah, is Environmental right. Regulation Unit One. Oh, there's a guy over there. Who's just who's scanning me? Oh, that's you. Oh, me. <laughs> yeah. there's a guy Damn it, Robin! Yeah. He's in the bat scanner. Um. Oh, why can't I scan it? I don't think it's in here. No. There's a guy in level two here that I can scan. Back up a bit, Buster. Environmental so Regulation is. Unit 1 is actually outside. Is it? That's weird. That's what it says. The guy here is level 2 otherwise. i will scan him while I annoy him. Okay, you, you distract him, Robin. Show him your flashy colors. Yeah, don't do uh, Hey, come on, jump in a limo with me and some girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do, isn't it? Yeah, Alright, I've all got right. his profile. Cool. Bye. <laughs> well, hold on. I think this guy has been... He's actually the lead researcher responsible for the drug production here. Oh, maybe we should he's a moving. criminal. That away. Yeah. Crime does not pay. <laughs> oh, I got a bounty. Damn it. Oh. Well, you can't, you know, you're a vigilante, you see. That's true. That's true. I am the Dark Knight. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at that planet. Look up in the sky. Oh, what that is crazy. some hell of a view. Yeah. I like that there's like a yellow circle around it. That's just like the edge of the, of the cool. third ring. That's the bat symbol, that is. I know, right? So you, you've got a dark ring on the end. Mine is just all yellow on the ring. It's weird. Oh, on, really? On the string, you've got two different colors. That is strange. Maybe I've got different settings on my lower settings. Because I've got old potato computer. It's possible, possible. Yeah. Okay, so apparently this regulation unit... Oh, maybe it's not on the settlement grounds. Maybe it's like... In a, in a weird building. All right, follow me, Robin. Well, I stupidly picks up some stuff, so if I get scanned, I'm not alone. Are you in the building outside, buddy? Don't worry, they're all criminals here. Oh yeah, it's up here on this uh, thing. We got to deal with Renata Chan, who's guarding it. I've not heard of this villain. No, Renata. Try and avoid her. Looks like she's leaving. Oh, yeah. Okay. She heard my jetpack. Oh yeah. Oh hi. Who's yeah. this guy up here? This mission keeper guy. Exterminate the these drug empire there. members. He wants us to exterminate a pirate gang. Maybe he's another superhero. Like Batman, please help. Eliminate twelve yeah. members of the criminal faction. Gas so the, these ones are a little bit hard because sometimes if that faction is low enough in influence, they just like aren't there. Um, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to pick this up because I'm... What, what the hell? What did you do? <laughs> Sorry, he's a criminal. <laughs> he wanted us to kill the criminals. Robin, Sorry. where are you, Robin? <laughs> what have you done? We... <laughs> it's a good I, thing I, you only stunned him. Yeah, yeah sorry. sorry. This poor citizen. Look at this. His neck is con contorted. He's broken yeah. his neck. He'll be paralyzed for I life, Robin. We... But you know what? Sometimes... Uh, that's you just the level price two you have to pay. To the environmental thing. I do. Cool. Does that mean people come running and kill us or not? Possibly. Yeah. Someone's coming. Yeah, they are. Okay, hold on. We'll hide up here on the shadows. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! She's found us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. The alarm is off. Um, hold on. The Batwing is being attacked. Is it? Oh god! Is it off? Oh yeah. Is it, is it the um? Get out of here, Batwing. Alfred. Oh. Am I allowed to shoot the um, I'm the ship. skimmer with my bat sniper rifle? And no guns! No guns, Robin! That does, oh, okay. We must use brain uh, stealth and possibly... Oh! Someone shotgunned me! You alright? 
Oh, oops! Shit. Oops! I threw the wrong grenade! Oops. Okay, uh, thankfully I don't think that killed anyone. Oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong grenade. That one, what? Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh no! Robin! No! They're killing you. Oh no! They did, they did. Don't worry, Alfred will stitch me back up. I've only lost consciousness. That's alright, but you... Oh, I'm shooting people. Get out of there, Robin! I had to just. Oh what? no, I had to dismiss the ships! Uh oh, I'm going to bat prison. What? She's shooting with a shotgun from point blank range, but I'm doing alright. I'm going to bat prison! Oh. What? Good after they sent me to Arkham, Arkham Asylum. Yeah. Uh oh. And I don't there think I was in my crate, so I might not have my no. bowing. Yeah, I'm I'm alone. Oh no. With criminals. Loads of them. <laughs> that we got it kind of swarmed there. See, that's why you got to get those uh, alarms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ray Bob, <laughs> with the F coming in. <laughs> Coming in with the F. Alright, I'll come back and then we'll, I'll just um, take a taxi to the same place. Well, I think we failed that mission. Which uh, base was it again? 40A, right? Uh, sorry, I'm just in the middle of a gang punch. Stay alive, Robin. Whoa. Zero percent. Fine. This is hard by yourself to punch your take a bad taxi. But will they take off your mask? Well, yeah, that's the, that's the that's the fun part about like every damn bat uh, Batman movies. He always gets captured, and they never think to remove his mask. There was one, I think, of the Christian Bale movies where they try to remove his mask, and he's got like some sort of taser on it. And I'm that's like, right. yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Because you would think it's like, yeah, once people know that Batman is Bruce Wayne, that would kind of ruin this whole Batman thing, right? <laughs> yeah. They would immediately freeze his assets. <laughs> oh, God, God, shut up. I think that's, like, in the current Batman continuity, I, I'm not sure, like, I, I honestly, I read more of the graphic novels, so usually they'll complete a story arc and then the graphic novel might come out a year later kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah. But I think, like, in the current Batman story, there's something where Bruce Wayne, like, lost all of his money. Like, his whole fortune was, was diminished. And right. um, Alfred's dead. Like, oh, actually yeah. dead. Um, and Alfred gave all of his... Like, Alfred himself was quite well-to-do. He had been paid very well. And he gave all of his money to Dick Grayson. And so now Robin, a, a Nightwing, or, or Dick Grayson, or Rick Grayson, or whatever he is these days... Um, is like a billionaire and like the philanthropist and like Bruce Wayne is like a ex-billionaire who now has to kind of struggle with it doesn't have a lot of the gadgets which I think is that's a nice change of pace right yeah yeah if you're going to evolve a character over time like yeah like okay we've seen the billionaire we've seen him have endless resources let's see how he does without them yeah totally yeah but nothing at all yeah there's a great uh, uh, comic called um what is it? It's Batman uh, uh, R.I.P. And uh, in this one, Batman is, I guess, psychologically or whatever, screwed up by the villains. I, I can't remember how they do it. It's like hypnosis or a combination of subliminals. And, like, you know, this master psychologist, like, like basically knows how to exactly destroy Bruce Wayne's mind. However, Bruce Wayne is, of course, prepared for this, as he, as he often does by creating this alternate personality within himself called the Batman of Zurana. And basically Bruce Wayne kind of loses his mind and then becomes the Batman of Zurana, which is like using like <laughs> like trash bags and stuff like that and goes around as basically this crazy hobo Batman. Um, and it's like if, if ever his mind was compromised, he would revert to this personality. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And it's like a crazy story, and it, it was um, Grant Morrison's the writer on that one. And Grant Morrison wrote some interesting um, Batman stories. He was a big fan of like the the Silver Age comics and how ridiculous they would be. Like Batman would go on outer space adventures, you know, or Robin would turn into the size of an ant. Like you'd have some really wacky stories. And one of them was like Batman goes to another planet and meets Batman of the planet Zurana. And it's like, how do you explain that in the con? Like, if, if you were to say, like, all Batman stories exist in continuity, how would you explain the, some of these Silver Age things, right? 
Yeah, yeah. And I guess that's how he tried to explain uh, the Batman of Zero is like, oh yeah, like like basically Batman to prepare himself for the eventuality that some criminal would eventually figure out how to psychologically break him. He went and basically locked himself in a containment and did a bunch of acid and tripped out with the whole <laughs> Batman of Zero Nod. The Silver Age is basically Batman taking LSD, locking himself in a compression chamber to prepare himself psychologically for future, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty bonkers idea, isn't it? It's a, fun, it's a fun interpretation, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely, um, you know, Marvel's doing their MCU, their multiverse, right? And you got to think, it's like, well, why not um, a DC multiverse, right? That's that's always been kind of part of the comic books is that, hey, um, hey, that doesn't fit into continuity. Oh, well, that's because this is an alternate timeline. That explains everything, right? Yeah. Oh, my taxi driver's speaking to me. That's nice. You had an interesting accent there. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm coming back to you, so just, are you still alive? I'm still alive, yes. So unfortunately we did, I think, fail this mission. Oh no, I can't find anyone, to, I've killed people, but I can't scan them those men. They would die, disappeared. Why can't I share this other mission? Do you still, by the way, have the mission? Um, I think I do, yeah, I'm trying to finish it, you see. Oh, maybe you can finish it, interesting. Yeah, but I can't. Do you have, like, a sample on you in your inventory? Did you, did you open that thing? I did. No, you had to. You, yeah, you, like, you picked it up. It's empty. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's actually. You have to. Um, I think that was the mission where you have to insert the chemical. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think I've. I don't. Oh, transfer. I don't have assets. Yeah, that might be a problem. No, I don't have, yeah, I don't think I've got it. Well, I would just say, uh, yeah, just abandon that mission. I can Then I can share the, uh, cool, yeah. the other one with you. This is the one where we have to do the 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 no casualty mission, which okay, which suits Batman very well. Where should I head to then? Um, I'll come pick you up. I'll I'll, I'll land okay. on this planet, then order the uh, the Batwing to descend, and then we may <laughs> we may uh, continue on and pretend that this never happened. <laughs> yeah, all that's left in this place is one skimmer that's trying to kill me. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. You're not using guns, are you, Robin? No. Okay, good, good, good. I, I did a little. That's good. <laughs> Guns I are bad. Stuff, I, I punched the people who had no shields. The people had shields. I got their shields off and then I punched them. Nice. It was really hard. I thought it was fair. It's definitely, um, it's been interesting to do this because I don't normally use the shield disruptor grenades that much, but they're pretty effective. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you yeah. want to take down a group of people's shields all at once. Yeah, yeah, once you get used to throwing them, they're quite good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, in the ship means you could reload really easy and mm -hmm. do stuff. Now, I definitely would like to see melee weapons added to Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah, we cool, wouldn't it? But yeah, I'm really intrigued about these new mission types. Like, what, what, what are their gaps in? What kind of missions do they not have in Odyssey that they have, like, in space? Yeah, I can't think. You know, I'm trying to think... Or what are some unused assets at the bases? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's all I could think was those um, cells where you've got prisoners. Is it going to go and spring someone out from a place? That sort of thing. Is that a mission? I don't know. Do you want to hear my crackpot theory? My, my very oh. unlikely, but oh my god, this would be insane if they did it. Yeah. Um, one thing we don't have is any form of Xeno combat on foot. I know. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Imagine if it was like, yeah, go go kill 10 Thargoids. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> sure I, mean, I mean, the Thargoids have been incurring in the news. That's been the latest thing is the Thargoids attack, like, Boar Systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and that would certainly, like, you know, if Frontier wanted to, uh, you know, sort of make good for their sort of gap in silence... Coming out yeah, with some yeah. Thargoid land battles might be a pretty invigorating experience. Yeah, yeah, totally. But don't get your hopes up. I'm sorry I said that. Oh, no, yeah. That's what you do. It's bachelor. Yeah. I want to see your ship right now. Like, it's probably going to be more like, well, well we have, like, like courier missions that, like, deliver the data, but, like, what about <laughs> um, don't deliver yeah. the data? Yeah. This other guy is delivering the data, and you need to intercept him and ask him politely to stop. 
bring some pamphlets that might allude to <laughs> ground <laughs> yeah, deliver the datas they love their pamphlets yeah please go door to door and uh and uh send, distribute all these pamphlets are you with charlie soleil oh, yeah. i've just landed at fournier yeah let's see uh i should be able to see you i saw something shooting at some someone oh there you are oh yeah oh yeah robin the base is shooting yeah. at you let's go yeah do a ship to him really quickly yeah it's that balloon skimmer i can't game can't punch him it's too high what did the comms say turner reach oh no i'm only friendly with turner research because we failed that mission oh no that's okay it didn't happen yeah we tried well if everyone here is like uh unconscious yeah i guess could you punch these skimmers to death i don't know if you get them down low enough i just think i've been trying to jump on one i was trying to get up somewhere high and see if i can get him near and jump on it oh he's like halfway down yeah yeah have you been punching him no. How do you get halfway down? I don't know. Did he run into a building? Maybe, yeah. Let's see if we can jump on the skimmer. Where'd he go? Uh, he's over there. So if I can get him to come get me. He runs away, isn't he? These skimmers are honestly kind of like... Like, they're nice set dressing, but what do they actually do? They're so lame, aren't they? They call the space wire than me. I don't think it could hit the broad side of a barn. No. Come here, little He's actually running away from me. He doesn't want to be stepped on. Yeah, yeah. He fears the Batman. Oh, I think he's on me. That's why I'll, I'll go that way. So oh, yeah, those rings are looking different now. That's weird. Yeah, okay. Weird. Yeah, it's all just one solid color. They're not rainbowy anymore. Yeah, that's just strange. Unplayable this game now. Absolutely. Yeah, I want I a refund. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After 3,000 hours, this is what I get? <laughs> My final review after 7,000 hours. <laughs> unplayable. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the, the Batwing. We have uh, yeah. we have business to attend to. We have crime to stop. And, uh, yeah, crime doesn't stop for us. We have to stop crime. Right. Oh, it landed all the way out there? Come on. Oh, you, got a landing, you got a landing pad right here, buddy. Are we you bat, shy? Bat bikes we can use together. I know, right? It oh, would be nice if you could summon man. your SRV. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. I mean, I would love to see SRV missions in general. Like, I think that's another gap yeah. in the game where, like, you know, the SRV... There are some missions that say, quote-unquote, requires an SRV, but you can often just, you know, like, like if you have to scan something at a base, but you can just bring your ship close enough and scan it. And I would like to yeah, see yeah. some missions where it's like, yeah, like, take this SRV from this base and then drive it two kilometers down the planet and, yeah, you know, get, don't get use a ship because we want to keep this, like, on the down low. Yeah, go go to a, find a mining rig somewhere, collect the things and shoot any sort of raiders that come away. That would be quite a cool mission. That's a pretty picture. I do like the Phantom, it's a great looking ship. It is a beauty. I love the back of it, and just like all the engines yeah. lined up. It's very Millennium Falcon. It is, yeah, yeah. I mean, Batwing! Oh, sorry, yeah, wrong film. Oh, I can't even do the voice anymore. It like literally, like, <laughs> my, my, my throat, like, uh, it closes up and it's like, don't, no, I refuse. Yeah. <laughs> I can't bore that, because tonight. What? I was what? Are we, in a, are we in a wing in it? We're in a wing. Maybe you've got to be in first. Come on, Batwing. Don't be like that. Okay, I'll get in. Access denied. How got, about now? It looks like I've got a bounty or something. Like that. Can you get in now? No, that says cannot board access denied. I'm clear for boarding and storage status, but that's weird. Hold on. Um, Do I have like something in occupying the chair? I don't know. 
Hmm. Wait, do you have maybe like uh, too much loot in your backpack? No, that wouldn't make that's, any sense. That no, says like there's no, there's no, it just says access denied. Interesting. Um, if I relog, will I appear somewhere stupid? Hold on, maybe just try, uh, I'll kick you from the team and then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Disable team boarding. Enable team boarding. Let's try that. Try now. Yeah. I'll try again. I did that. That's it. No, this is access denied. Access denied? Okay, let me try. Try. Yeah, to, to Leave the team. Save it. But yeah. Things gone now. Do, 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 do. <laughs> now we have to wait for the cooldown. I don't know what is the point of that cooldown to prevent people from like leaving a team and joining another team within 30 seconds. I don't know. Is it we have to get? What problem did that solve? Maybe we're really upset with each other about it. And we have to cool down, and move on. It's the emotional we countdown. Come friends again. Yeah, yeah. It's anger management. Yeah. Uh, okay, now I will invite you to a team. Slash crew, slash wing, slash uh, nomenclature issue. There we go, the blue circle has re returned. Oh, board, hooray! Yay! Maybe because you died and I haven't, we've gone to some weird sub world. Yeah, I don't know. We've, the underworld, We're the criminal in... underbelly. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to now the sh share this mission. Oh, yes. You Take got it? Sample. Sherlock Hydroponics Exchange. Okay, now we can't screw this up, Robin. We gotta be very no careful. Casualties. We can't no casualties. We can't kill, or, or and, and that includes like uh, you know punching them to unconsciousness. Apparently. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. It's been quite a hard way to save lives. You just save life by killing people. <laughs> it's the, yeah. It's like uh, you know, it's a trade. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Which, you know, you, you would think the bartender would give missions at that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, heading back to I Super Cruise. about missions from uh, engineers for specific materials, didn't they? Which is going to make the engineering I don't, I don't think that's what they implied. Well, they implied nothing because they're really vague. So, yeah. What was that? Sorry, I heard to hear you there? Sorry, they were saying that... Um, they were thinking the future of doing missions from engineers for specific um, engineering type uh, materials, sort of thing. No. Sorry. Did they actually say that? They did say that a while ago. Oh my god. Thinking about it. That was so, one of the again, things that I wanted them to do. Yeah, yeah. But again, they've not mentioned it since, and that was a few months ago. Oh, again, yeah, I yeah. think they were, we are thinking about it. So, so maybe those are the new mission types. I did think they'd Interesting. get a bit more hype than that, wouldn't you? Well, they 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 seem to be like in this, I, I, in this mode of like we we're working on many exciting things and we can't tell you about them and this is something they go in and out of. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's really working for them. I mean, it, it's up to you know. The, I I don't have the data, man. I don't know what the yeah, overall yeah. sentiment is or if the sales are doing or whatever. But it's a bizarre thing where I'm just like, okay. Uh, I guess you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you tell everyone what you're working on, and then you have to delay that, everyone gets upset. If you don't tell them what you're working on, yeah. they, they get upset because you're not talking. Yeah, it's so kind of a catch-22, right? It's a tough position to be in. But, you know, I'd rather, me personally, I'd rather have the transparency to say, hey, this is what we're working on. Hey, this didn't work out. Um, we got like three quarters in and then we just couldn't optimize for performance. So we're moving on to something else. We'll come back to it at some point or another. But, yeah. you know, hey, like just so you guys know what we're doing, right? Because otherwise, yeah, yeah. you know, people think, oh, Frontier is going to sell to Tencent or yeah. everyone's working on yeah. Jurassic Park. And, you know, you don't really get a sense for the, the magic behind the scenes. But I don't yeah, know. Yeah. It's uh when you get upsetting an ant making videos uh, about like the silence of elite dangerous community, yeah. it's sort of like you know that becomes the topic. You're not really yeah, controlling the narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. personal narrative. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure they're having a break from the constant "Are you putting on console?" question that they get on every stream. 
Yeah. Getting somewhere. But again, they've got these things to answer, and that, that's, a, that's the hard thing. They've got, they've got to do these things. Well, that's the thing, you know, too. The, the, this, like, the community team is just like, when they get information, they can communicate it, but they don't they don't determine what information they get or don't get, right? So yeah, they're, they're the guys that are in the toughest position in the company because they have to go out there and, you know, talk to the public. But, yeah, they yeah. we haven't really seen a lot from the community managers. And, you know, I'll see, like, oh, Bruce posts a, a forum post. Hey, update's yeah. going to be delayed till March 8th. And then there's a thousand posts after that saying, like, where is my... Sp- you know, space ice cream. Why don't bartenders serve alcohol? When is the console release? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, yeah, um, yeah, I, I can't address any of those. Uh, thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's have some fun. It's like, it's pretty hard to do. Yeah. Well, it's just like, yeah, this- t- too, like, like, you can only do stellar screenshots so many times uh, before, uh, you know, people start to go like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. But the question is, is it better to do nothing? Is nothing a better uh, alternative? Is the silence truly golden? Yeah, it's the thing like Hello Games do nothing and then release stuff, don't they? Whereas Star Citizen make you know, make videos every week for people to watch. And yeah. It's there. And Elite have always gone like, oh, we'll try and get you involved. Oh, but then it goes wrong. Oh, well, then. Mm-hmm. And it's like a thing of, if they, if they just said, look, we're just going to go this way, then we'd have to go, okay, that's fine. But when, the, when yeah. we don't know, we, we just make up the weirdest shit number the time because well, we're all desperate for any news then. I think No Man's Sky is so interesting to look at because initially, like, they really did get such a bad reception. People were yeah. pissed off. Like, I found someone in the universe with no tools. We were in the same spot. We couldn't see each other. You lied to me, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. there was no response for a number. Like, I feel like it was months. And, yeah. then, and then they rolled out a big update and that was like a huge yeah. step right and then yeah, yeah silent again and then they kept the consistency up right yeah 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 and maybe that's what frontier intends or hopes to do and maybe you know but i think a lot of it's going to be like okay what is update 11 going to be is it just going to be yeah. fleet characters and engineer missions right or is there more packaged in it that we didn't know of that we're going to be really delighted to see and then yeah. can they do that again two or three more times? And if they yeah. do, hey, that's great because we're on a roll, and you know I think people will be a lot in a in a better um, spirit about the future of the game, and maybe won't need to know what the roadmap is because they'll have a little more confidence, right? Yeah. But I feel okay. like right now it's like you just got to get people's confidence going again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like, if people are fearful that that's, we're going to go back into the pre Odyssey blank for two three years yeah that's a very scary feeling to think like you say if they if they know well as someone said oh, there, there is stuff coming you know but yeah we've been talking about before so we, we're we are uh, scared people aren't we sometimes, so yeah yeah it's and it's it, it is kind of like it does feel like a broken record when it's always like yeah we're working on something big it's gonna be soon yeah, yeah. it's gonna yeah, be yeah. soon don't worry oh you're expl- playing exploding kittens with the kid ray uh, enjoy that man yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a great game that's a fun game it's like yeah. one of them, one of them card games, yeah, where it's, it's like, uh, you know, you start out and you're all having fun, and by the end of it, you just want to slap the person across the table because they've, Uno reversed you, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the board games that all devolve into uh, domestic squabbles, but that's I, I played that one before. It's pretty fun. Good fun, man. Yeah. Enjoy yeah, your day, Ray. Fun. Yeah, yeah, have fun. Right, so yeah, got th- to not we can't punch people, we can't shoot people, we can. Okay, so the strategy here is we got to we got to disable the alarms first and foremost. Yeah, yeah. Uh, without the ar- alarms disabled, like we're gonna we're gonna attract some attention, right? Because what do we have to do? We have to take a sample. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is where we have to do the same thing we did before, but not die. But we've not wanted, so we can we can totally block people and stuff, can't we? We so can, if you're doing yeah. something, I can stand around and block a door. As long as they don't scan us, or if they do scan us, we have to immediately dish profile. Yeah. Uh, uh, Luke's on his way home. Don't you oh, dare yeah. stop streaming before that, he says. <laughs> Whoa. I don't mind streaming a bit later. I'll do a bi- I'll need a bio break after uh, this mission, but... Uh, yeah, I I'll have to go to Mo because the kids are going to bed. Yeah, I was going to say, it might be getting late for you. Yeah. But Batman's all for that fun. That Robin. Batman can go all night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Robin is in the shadows. Robert's just a little quiet lad, isn't he? Oh, but 
yeah, Robin's just Robin just does this part time on weekends. I was, I was watching, watching Batman the Animated Series, and there is like a couple episodes where like Robin's gone away to college, and like he's like, "Hey, I'm yeah. here for the weekend. Can I go out with you?" And he's like, "No, <laughs> not this week." I know. He's like, "Wasn't he from a children's house? Like a bizarre kid from a children's house lived with a billionaire?" It's all getting a bit weird. Michael Jackson style, so strangeness happening. It's like, yeah, the, <laughs> they go out, they go out and kill people the weekend because that's a bit more wholesome. So they... But I, I really <laughs> would say. Oh, Nix is heading off to the Bat Cave. Good night, Nix. Thanks for joining. See Nix. Tuesday. Have a have a good bat night. See you next bat time. All right. So no. <laughs> Same bat hold on. Are you wanted? I'm not wanted. Oop, oh, put the way uh, that gun. I don't have guns. I'm no, not, I'm not wanted. wanted. No, it's okay. just hot okay. here. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, this guy's wanted. Apparently, he has a little badge next to him. He's I wonder, like, you. how does that work though? Like, if they do have a bounty on them and you start scanning them and they start shooting you. Does that ultimately, like, do you get money for that? Does everyone else get pissed off? Or, did, or are they happy because you, like, stopped the crime? Don't kill him. Don't call Don't ever one. You all right with him? You got him? I'm scanning him. He keeps moving. Don't move. My bat radar is sensitive. Okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. Don't go. Don't look at me. <laughs> well, the skimmer over above actually looked like the shadow of a bat on the ground. That was quite good, the shadow line, yeah. Uh, I'm really impressed, too, with the shadows in this game. The shadows uh, have really surprised me sometimes. Yeah. Like, look at that, look at that. <laughs> it's weird, you know, like I've, I've tried Empyreon and those sort of games, they're really yeah, fun, yeah. but the lighting, and even Space Engineering, the lighting is not as good, and it's like sometimes I... If the lighting's not great, it really puts me up so much. It loses your, your immersion. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I don't really don't condone stealing, but I want one of those. I have to watch out now to get scanned. Although, I think we're okay as long as we're not... Yeah, it's like there's um two types of goods. There's like the normal yeah. goods, and as long as no one sees you take them, you're okay. But then you have the um, identifiable goods. And if you have some of those, oh. like this is like um, dinosaur bones... For example, I don't know why that's a restricted <laughs> item, but um, yeah. Robin, where are you? Hey. Okay, I open the door. Okay. <laughs> Your voice is gonna collapse. I, know. I it it hurts so much. I'm not gonna be able to talk tomorrow, but that's fine. There's Loretta Gary here. I'll chat to. Where's the sample complaint? So again, this is a thing that if we, have get, it, we have to get we have to get the alarm alarms off. first. Though. No. Yeah, we well we, we have to yeah. if we disable the alarms. Then uh, we are free to do what we want. Yeah. So we need a uh, what's it called? We need the. I think we need like. Battery. Yeah, we need like level two access. I think probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. But a here? terminal it's would be helpful. The data port. Yeah, where's the terminal gone? Where on earth are they gone? Maybe through here. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's oh. a researcher. Never mind. I was afraid they would be uh, a scanning person. What are you up to? What are you up to? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've got a throat infection. Won't be long. Do you know where the vault fix vapor rub is? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> it sounds like the friggin' uh, overlord of Aravet now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so probably, where would, okay, if I were oh. an alarm panel, where would I be? There's a terminal over here, because there's always one, but what, this base is here, remember? STO. Let's go in the storage. Maybe there's... Otherwise... Oh, I found a computer. I found a computer. I've got one, okay. Where are you? Facility. So, really, oh yeah, see, I don't have level 2 access, so I cannot see inside of most of the buildings. Maybe. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. I found the settlement alarms console. Okay. It is cool. actually this way. Oh, I'm, I can't get in the building. I'm got level one pass yet. But don't worry. It's actually not in this help? building. How do I get out? Let me out. Oh no! Don't scan me! Don't scan me! Oh shoot! 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 Okay. Uh, dropping the profile. Oh yeah, drop the profile. I'm fine. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Okay, where, where are you, Tukoso? 
I was at the door that you went in through, but I don't know where you've gone there. I'm outside. Are you? Did you get the back or what? The what? Did you get, I can see oh, you are. running out here. Yeah, it's over here. The alarm console. Is it? Oh, no, running? wait, no, this is a mission giver. Never mind. I had the totally wrong thing. It's somewhere in he No, wait, that's yeah. you. Oh, wait, no, no, it's yeah, no, in here. Meters, yeah. In here, in here. Oh, shoot, but I dropped my profile. Hold on. That's right, we're getting a little company. Can you uh, distract Jocelyn Marshall here? Maybe I'll see if they have uh, access. Yeah. Level one, yeah. Hey, Jocelyn. Just watching you fly through the land. You get it. She does not want to take her eyes off me. No, I mean, I know, I know. It's the it's the bat thighs. Uh... Cut up your jib. Hey, just then. I haven't talked to her. Stop looking at it. We'll ask her then if, she, if she's doing that. Okay, hold on. She's turned around. Okay, keep her occupied. Yeah, I'll try to. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, level one access. That's fine. Okay. okay. Got it. All right, we can go in here now. We actually might need level two, unless you have an e-breach. Uh, but we oh, might need level two to actually use the alarm console. Oh yeah, we might be able to... Did you, you don't have an e-breach, do you? No, not on me, no. I've got someone in your ship. Let's just see here. Oh no, it's only level one. Okay. Oh, cool. Is there anyone in here? No, they never seem to monitor to the alarms. It's quite bizarre. Disable I'm also going to disable scans. That way, we don't need to bother with these uh, profile scans. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Excellent. So now we've got to. Okay, now we have to find another terminal, which seems to be one, one over here. -ish. Oh, it must be outside. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's the way out. Okay. What's on your data pad? Just out of curiosity. Genetic research. Nah. Not worth it. We can't kill anyone. So if no. things go south, like, you know, murder is not an option. Yeah, we're properly undercover. Okay, here's that terminal. Uh, now we need sample containment unit one in the agricultural building. So hopefully it's not in the building we just left. Yeah. Uh, oh, I need level two to access the damn thing. Uh, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Agricultural locker. Why is that right, listed take... as a mission item? That's weird. A mission item? That's weird. Wait, That's... all the agricultural lockers, there's two of them that have mission icons on them. Should we go and find that and see if it's... An it's energy happening. cell case has the mission icon on it. What is going on? No, there's some glitch yeah. going on. Yeah, it's just inside here, isn't it? Uh, 15 meters has. This is weird. Yeah, um, so I've been to the, I've been to the thing, and there's nothing that you can get from that. Agricultural data port one, environmental regulation unit one, but no, I need sample containment unit one. Yeah, I went, to, I went to the one that was marked as a mission thing. There's nothing in it, so I think we we'll have to go and get level two, won't we? I think. Well, the way I think about it is, okay, it's got to be... Because it's not in these buildings, I think. Environmental regulation. No, I need sample containment. So it's by yeah, process of elimination, it must be here. Which yeah, yeah. is there. Okay. Come, Robin. Where I'm trying to get a level 2 power spec. Oops. Oh, I see you on the roof there. Yeah, there's a guy here that I can try and scan. Oh, oh, we don't need it anymore because we disabled authorization scans, remember? Oh, yeah, but you can't see where it is because you could not find the level two. It's okay, we can find it the old fashioned way. Ah. Okay. By sh No, wait, not shooting people. Um, <laughs> okay, good point. We could just ask this guy, excuse me, Walter, uh, where is sample unit one? Ooh, here's a data pad. Ooh, chemical patents. I don't know if those patents, uh, do they do anything for you? Ooh, I think I might have found it. This is sample yeah. containment unit, 
but it actually does require level two. What? And here's the problem, is this room is, like, packed. Okay, I think I have it here. But I, I, do you have level two? I do, but I think the person just saw me. I've got to find. Oh, I no. I haven't found the mission, though. That's the weird thing. Um, what I'll do is maybe come out and scan me. I've got level two. Yeah, the person is angry, but she's not done anything. That's very strange. So where are you now? I'm you in uh, this building. Yeah, Agricultural processing. Uh, to your right. To your right. I oh, in there. Okay. So I'll come scan you. Yeah, Let's do it on the roof, away from prying eyes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a window getting there. Do do do. Yeah, if you scan me, I'm level two, and I didn't seem. They didn't seem to. They, they said, "Hey, that's illegal." I thought I know I'm playing mission. But, um, nice. They don't seem to be annoyed with you, so I would go and do your thing. As long as they don't choose to scan me, I have to drop the profile at the last minute. That would suck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, where'd that entrance go? Yeah, then. <laughs> Let me in! Was, it is weird, like, you know what, in terms of, like, Ooh. fire protocol, they, they do not have enough doors. That's like, illegal. That's crime! <laughs> <laughs> Health and safety, Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your fire code? Oh, here we go. Are you in here? Walter. Why do I hear people yelling angrily? What have you done? Um, you know what I could do is I could take out the building atmosphere and see if they all run away. I don't think they do, do they? Where are you then? Are you gone? Here's a. Oh, I'm getting weird. It's like. Who did oh, yeah. that? Who That's... did that? Stuff's gone off, but. She... Oh no, Ooh, what the hell? Now... Oh, they've got guns out now. So she just goes and turns it back on? Yeah, it turns back on. So someone's meddling with this and turns it back on. That's weird. I like that. That's angry now. Oh, shoot Who's shooting me? at me? Don't Over shoot there. me. Okay, shoot. Okay. Uh. Oh. Uh. uh do? Don't kill oh, anyone. Oh. Uh. Oh, there's the guy coming outside with quick. Oh, shields on. Shields on. Put your shields on. Just try and hide. Shields on. They can't shoot yeah. me if they can't see me. I'm on the roof. Right. So. I'll disable the atmosphere again. Where's the sample containment unit? I couldn't find it in there. It was like right uh, on the. It, it, it's okay. It, it'll. Uh... Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! There's so many people in here. Yeah, I'll try and draw them out, but they seem. Uh, oh, God. oh, they're all outside shooting at me. It's good. Running this way. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Run outside quickly. Maybe that'll I'll lure them all outside. Yeah, there's a lot of people outside. That's what I'm saying. They're all shooting at me. Moving the flag. And then once they're all outside, I can run right back inside. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, Batman. Whoa, sharpshooter. The old Batusi. Yeah. Why does Batman not dance anymore? Okay, running back inside. Oh. Sample is... Oh my god, it's only a quarter of the way done. I love this I is uh, intense. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe there's an area in here I could hide where no one can see me. Yeah, yeah. No one can see me up here. The... Is there one left in the Okay, Robin, or... you keep them distracted. Don't kill anyone, yeah, but, all... like, you could maybe, no, no, uh... They're... they're all shooting at me, but that keeps them happy, I think. Oh, it? shoot, they found me, they found Whoa. me. And this lady has, like... Wait, did I hear a grenade? Yeah, that's right. No, 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 no! Oh, it was just a shield grenade. Okay, thank God. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to run. Oh, health kit. So much. Running through the process. The thing is, they've only got lasers as well, so if they get your shields down, they won't hurt you. That is fortunate. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Um. I see all these people just like hanging around the entrance, hunting you. 
Yeah, you oh, on the roof there as well. Is that you? That is you. E yeah. So we're still waiting for them to oh, there's loads of them. I wonder if I could, I could just see through the window the progress bar. It's about seventy-five percent, eighty percent. Okay. That's good. I can oh, yeah. run in there just in the nick of time. Unless like one of them goes to the panel and like puts it back in, that'd be really yeah. annoying. I oh, know. I think it will. What you can watch it probably come out of here, can't you? Which would be good. Hello. Hi. Can you see me, Jocelyn Farley? Oh, she's guarding the sample. Oh, no. Okay, it looks like it's coming out. Okay, I'm going in. I'm oh, going in. There's three of them in there as well. I'm doing it. Just, just, just run. Yeah. Shoot, where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? Oh, God. It's Whoa. up there on the second level. Oh, hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, don't mind me. Just your friendly neighborhood Batman. I uh, will steal sample. I got the sample. You got it? Yeah. Oh. I'm outside. Running I'm away. Shooting. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, there's so many people. There's a lot of them you have run for it. Okay, get away get from Red Barrel. Point. Get away I'm from Red Barrel. Point. Yeah, right. Wow, there's loads of them. I'm just thinking, like, while we're at it, should we take their power core? <laughs> yeah. Okay, by the way, where's the bat wing? Oh, there it is. It's I, there. Okay. I was going to say, please don't let them have shot it. And uh... Where's the bat wing? I can't find it. It's over here. It's over here. Just look at the direction that they're shooting at. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see, yeah. Where are you? Look, it's quite a small bat wing. I'm coming from the a different, a, an angle. Oh, I think I can see. <laughs> You're probably the only guy who's airborne and using jetpacks. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. That's the fun part of it, right? Yeah. Is uh, uh, the NPCs cannot use jetpacks. That was intense, though. There were like 16 guys there trying to shoot us. Yeah. And this is the, this is the, the lesson to you kids is that you don't need to murder them. You can just oh, no. you can just oh. run that run around in circles, confuse them. Be healthy. All right, buckle your selfie <laughs> belt, Robin. Hopefully the uh, the facility is not going to start shooting at us. Oh, should be right. Hey. Bye bye. Ensure the content holder leaves the settlement. It's quite a cool um I like it that the, the mission objective at least updates like if it's like hey uh, yeah. you don't have the sample but uh, make sure the guy yeah. that does gets out that's cool yeah yeah, yeah. back to Gotham dun, dun. you missed yes. Nick's yeah yeah you did well it's my fault for being late today I, I started a bit later than usual this is that time where, you know, if you're in that certain time zone, uh, it's actually quite late. Yeah, it's quarter to 11 now. I'll have to go and get back. Well, we'll cash this mission in so you can um, benefit from the rewards. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the... Oh, we would lose the one with the manufacturing instructions. What's no, this this is the one with the manufacturing instructions. Oh, wicked. Okay. Which is why it's like, very important that we don't fail this one, because we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need great. those for like everything. Like, what, what can you use manufacturing instructions to engineer? Everything! Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like Gary Oldman. What movie is that from? Um, where he says that? Everything. It was from the professional? The Leon professional one? Oh, was it? I think so. Yeah. Where it's like John Reno and like a little bit of like a too young uh, for him. Oh, Natalie yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 13. How you doing, buddy? How's yeah. it been? It's been a while. <clears throat> we got Dub in the house. The Dub is here. The Enigma uh, man himself. I've not visited oh. uh, Colonia since the Enigma expedition. I assume, <laughs> I assume the, the Dub Enigma is like parked out there, ain't it? Yeah, it's, one, it? it's not uh, like a mobile mega ship. Some of them tend to wander around. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we've been uh, eliminating crime here in Gotham. Gotham Park. With our fists. That's good. That's true, without using weapons. No guns, no glory. I mean, no guns, lots of glory. <laughs> but surprisingly not that hard. To actually, 
Well, I think with two of you, it's a bit easier. By yourself, really die really quickly. With the two yeah. Of us. Yeah. He was actually okay to just run around. Like we beat that. we beat twenty people to death. I mean, to unconsciousness with our bare hands. Yeah. And a few like shield ripping grenades. That's our high level of pugilism that we have. You see. That's yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Dove, are you still in Colonia? You're still like parked on the Dove Enigma itself. I haven't been to Colonia boof, since. Uh, yeah. Well, how long was the Dove Enigma expedition? Like, when did that end? I want to say, like, it was before 2020. It's like somewhere in 2019. Yeah, it must be 2019, wasn't it? Because I'm like, yeah, after that, I went to Sajay, then to 1989, uh, then back to the bubble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then to the Alpha Universe, and then Odyssey dropped. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Scorpius is still out there. I know he still is, is sitting in Colonia. El Scorpius, different story. Of course, yeah. He's on a rampage through the bubble. I was thinking, you know, it's like it's been a while since I've done exploration. Like, this is the last, like, like since the Dove Enigma expedition, that was like the last exploration thing that I was involved in. And yeah. uh, I kind of miss the, uh, you know, the sightseeing, the cosmic tourism. You took a yeah, two week there, break. There was a, um, a expedition leaving like, last week. Was it the Fatherhood? Um, oh, yeah. Fatherhood, whatever it's called, and I thought it'd be a bit of fun. But um, I always just want to come back and do stuff, you know. I like just running around, like bunch yeah. of people there. It's really fun. Well, now you have <laughs> fleet carriers, and that definitely yeah. changes up um, some elements yeah. of exploration. Like if you're really just like, oh, I want to take a break for a week, park it on a yeah, fleet yeah. carrier, and, and the fleet carrier owner continues the journey, and you could, hey, maybe you get a message. You say, oh, you got to jump out and check this out. I'm going to leave tomorrow morning by eight, and you. Jump out and do this, pop a scan and check out the quadrant, you know. So that yeah. definitely is kind of cool. Um, the idea of like jumping onto someone else's expedition and like jumping onto their carrier, right? Yeah, totally. Especially with Tuesday's update, if it's going to have the interiors, just have a whole new thing where you can just hang out there a bit. Like, say, so don't even have to leave it, you can just uh, go exploring and then jump off whenever you want to. Yeah, with the interiors, it would just be it's kind of nice to have a social space, isn't it? I can't wait. What, and that's yeah, yeah. next Tuesday that Fleet and Carrier yeah. Fleet in Carrier yeah. <laughs> Fleet in Carrier concur, con, Concurriors um, The Fleet Interior Fleet uh, Fleet Carrier Interiors drops on Tuesday along with yeah. a quote unquote new mission type that's all we know about the update yeah, like yeah. is there is there anything else? I don't know Frontier? <laughs> yeah 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 you know the time yeah. for Elite lately well you know I, I, I hear that man it is a time investment Every time I get on and I'm like, okay, like you can't play like a quick round of Elite. You can't jump into Elite and be like, 15 <laughs> minutes there and back, simple small adventure. No. It's like every session turns it like, you, oh, okay, I'll play for an hour. And then it's like three hours later, you know. <laughs> a lot of times the way I've been playing lately outside of like the streams is, I, oh, Voldemort's nose, how you doing? Um, but the way I'll do it is I'll, I'll jump in, I'll take like three or four missions. Stangus Investigation is now a faction in the Bologna system, so I've been doing... Uh, missions doing it for Dangus. But I'll take like two or three missions. Thinking, okay, that's easy. That's an evening. And then an hour later, I'm like on the third mission or something, right? It's like, oh, maybe I took passenger missions and the passengers wanted a commodity. And then I have to go find that commodity. But that commodity only exists halfway across the bubble. So I have to go there. And, you know, it's everything becomes like a more intricate <laughs> process, right? Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, you still make no money. Uh, yeah. Well, on my screen, we just totally uh, lasted band through the station and back out. Oh, no. Uh, which is quite scary. Yeah. Do we rubber band? Yeah. That's fun. We were doing the other day, uh, uh, the, the uh, if you boost right by the uh, the concourse, your ship will like kind of pass through until the server catches up. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was uh, hitting hitting uh, Tacosa with uh, Beluga. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Voldemort, I uh, did see the Batman. I saw it on uh, Thursday night. I, I was, you know, it's one of those few movies where I'm like, I got to see it like right away in theaters. Um, and I think it's fantastic. Um, it's not a perfect movie, um, but I would rank it up there with The Dark Knight and the original like 1989 Batman in terms of like, it is one of the best Batman adaptations, hands down ever. Um, but really specifically, it is the closest thing to a comic book Batman adaptation I've ever seen. Like, it really gets the noir, um, 
comic book feel. Gotham is awesome. Uh, the performances are great um, by pretty much everyone. I don't think there was a performance that I didn't like in the game in the uh, in the movie. Um, some plot holes that I felt like could have been resolved, and that might have been something that they pushed to a sequel. But and honestly, I'll, I'll put it this way: there is a little bit of a cameo in there. This is not. I'm not going to spoil what it is, where it is, who it is. There's a little bit of a cameo that I thought was unnecessary. Right. That's all I'm going to say. It's just like okay. You didn't need to do that. It doesn't didn't ruin the movie or anything for me, but like, you really did need to do that. Yeah. Um. All right, I gotta disembark. Come on. Like yeah, Puerto Costa's stuck in the ship. I could just sit here and he'd never be able to. Leave. <laughs> yeah, really fast. It's, the, like it's the, the real multi crew. Um. But yeah, I do recommend Batman. If you're a fan of Batman, it's really just nice to see Batman done faithfully. And done like as a, a murder mystery and like a dark gritty detective um, story, and there's great action in it too. Really good car chase. The Batmobile is awesome. I like it over the. Um, as much as I love the the, the Christian Bale, uh, Chris Nolan movies, um, the Tumbler was cool. Like, oh yeah, Batman has a tank that can turn into like a freaking uh, motorcycle. Okay, it is cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about that, but. Um, it's nice to see a more traditional Batmobile. And, like, this is, like, Batman in his early years, so it's not, like, this decked-out beast of a Batmobile. It's, like, you know, kind of a semi-converted muscle car. And I think it worked really, really well. But Robert Pattinson, man, like, who knew that Who knew the little Twilight kid would go on to be one of the best Batman ever? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. All right. Manufacturing instructions. Whee! Sorry, what were you going to say? That's cool. Yeah, I think you have to complete it, then I can complete it afterwards. That's yeah, I just did. Yeah. Cool. Hey, five manufacturing instructions. No, I'm going to argue with that. Those things are hard to come by. And useful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bruce Willis in a duct? Um, Bruce Willis, it, you know, I don't think he's at that point in the career where he would um, even... Uh, like, if they could shoot him in an air duct where he's sitting down in a chair... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know if you've, you've seen like a Bruce Willis movie lately, but the, like, the last two years there's been like 21 Bruce Willis movies, and they all consist of 90% of the time he's like sitting. Um, yeah, yeah. He's getting older. He is. Right, dude, I've got a head off, man. Salut! Have well, thank you for joining us, Ducoso. Good punching tonight. It was great. Yeah, we, um, did some good, good, yeah. we did some good work cleansing the crime of Gotham. I'll give you a Have thumbs fun, up. Uh, I'll probably watch the stream tomorrow. Call it catch your light. It's fun. Absolutely. Cool, man. Have fun. Take care. See you guys. You too, man. Now let's watch him blip out of existence. I don't... Robin, no. I was going to show you my crowbar. See <laughs> 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 you, the fun thing. See you, see you to go. So have a good night, man. Yeah, of course, that's uh, Robin or the second Robin or whatever. His, uh, his, his main fear. Like, Batman was scared of bats. That's why he chose to become a bat. Um, Robin never decided to become a crowbar. <laughs> Instead, he became the Red Hood. Jason Todd, the the, the uh, Robin who was beat to death by the Joker. And that's a weird story. Um, in that story, Batman is tracking the Joker to the Middle East. Um, and the Joker is planning to sell a nuclear weapon, which he somehow came across, selling it to Middle Eastern terrorists. So Batman's out there in the desert, and Robin follows him. Robin, I believe, is looking for his mother. Um, like, he, Jason Todd is an orphan, and he wants to find his biological mother, and he's narrowed it down to three people, one of which happens to also be in the Middle East. So Robin, looking for his mother, and Batman, looking to stop the Joker from selling nuclear bombs to terrorists, run into each other. What a coincidence! What are you doing here? Um... And then they end up obviously teaming up and going after the Joker. And what happens is um, Robin's m actual biological mother, the woman who turns it out to be, is like some medical lady and she's been bribed by the Joker to uh, deliver, like he's, he's basically like using the medical convoy to sneak in something. I think at this point, Batman stops him from delivering the nuke and now he's got some other plan to smuggle things to gain money to start his, restart his criminal empire. And Robin's mother betrays 
Batman to the Joker and lets her know the location. And as payback, the Joker ties her up and Robin and captures them while Batman is off chasing a convoy, beats Robin near to death with a crowbar, and then essentially rigs the building uh, with explosives. And at that point, Robin uh, tries to save his mother, can't get out in time, the building explodes, Batman just comes back just a moment too late. No! And the, the, the panel ends with um, Batman holding the dead Robin in his arms. Um, and the follow-up episode to that was actually really interesting. And I think kind of inspired Batman v Superman. Because after that, Batman is obviously furious with the Joker. You killed Jason Todd, my, my Robin. Uh, he had never lost a Robin before then. So he tracks down the Joker. But... The Joker has gained diplomatic immunity because the Joker has now been made the ambassador to the U.S. for Iran. So literally the next part of the story involves the Joker at the United Nations representing Iran and Batman is coming to fuck him up. And Superman comes in and stops Batman and says... Hey, Bats, I can't let you do that. I know the Joker killed him, but listen, the Joker has diplomatic immunity. What are you going to do? You can't do this. And Batman's like, the, it's the fucking Joker. He, uh, okay, I don't care if he has diplomatic immunity. He's obviously going to do something bad to the UN. Superman's like, well, I can't let, I can't, sorry, man, I can't let you pass. And they have a little bit of a beef. Like, there's a little Batman v Superman thing going on in there. Um... How that resolves is, yes, of course, the Joker does plan to gas everyone at the UN. Typical Joker. And the way they defeat it is, like, Superman dresses up like a security guard. Um, and when the Joker releases the, the gas, I think, like, Superman breathes in a lot and sucks the gas into himself. I don't know. <laughs> like, it got a little bizarre after that. I think a lot, a lot of the... Um, uh, more more recent adaptations of like the Jason Todd storyline tend to skip over the, the the gloss over the whole point where the Joker becomes the Shah of Iran's diplomatic envoy to the UN. Um, but there is actually a pretty good um, moment in there where like Batman and Superman kind of have a, um, a natural conflict. You know, they become frenemies in that moment, right? Um, and that's what I love about some of the era of those comic books is they're just so fucked up. Um, anyway, I'm going to do a quick bio break, um, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll stream for another hour. Lude, are you home yet? I don't want to stop the stream before you got home. You got, got all this way. <laughs> why does it, why does the game let me do this? I like the flash. Uh, anyway, I'm going to throw out the bio break thing, do a quick bio break, then we'll come back, do a few more missions, see how we can fare without, um, to go so here to help distract the guards. All right, I'll be back in just a moment. Enjoy the music.
Ooh. Okay, I was doing a Batman voice earlier, and honestly, I have hurt my throat so bad. You thought I did. You thought I did. Um, Alfred! Alfred, do you have any new missions for me? Can you give me a drink, Alfred? You're not a very good Alfred. I like you. You're bald. Alfred has hair. At least a little bit of hair. Actually, it's interesting. <laughs> it's like Alfred... Uh, uh, in this one is played by Andy Serkis and uh, he does a really great job. I think he needed a little bit more screen time. He's not in the movie um, you, you know uh, you know the movie really focuses on Batman so like Bruce Wayne and Alfred um, they get a few scenes together but like you know I, I, I could have used always more Alfred. Alfred is great um, and Andy Serkis is an interesting choice for it. Um, Michael Caine was a decent Al Alfred but a lot of the Alfreds lately have had a lot of hair uh, but in the comic books, Alfred was always um, a little bit bald on the top. But yeah, let's do another mission using Batman rules. Now, of course, the, if, you're, if you're just tuning in, the Batman rules for this stream are basically Batman does not use guns. He only uses his fisticuffs. And so uh, we've limited ourselves to, you know, essentially the zapper, which is a non-lethal takedown, punching people to unconsciousness, not, not death. I don't understand why elite is going around just breaking people's necks and stuff. And uh, uh, we can use the uh, the grenades that take down shields, which is pretty critical. So let's see. Hmm. Exterminate the Sons of Icarus members. That sounds like a criminal organization. 13 targets. I think that's doable. Criminals. Criminal faction. The Sons of Icarus. They killed my parents. Martha! Martha! We're going to do it. All right. So can we do it without any weapons? And without a Robin to help this time. Tocoso was uh, playing the role of Robin. Which, uh, you know, it's it, has there been a good Batman movie with Robin? I don't really think so. I think the Val Kilmer movie did have uh, a Robin. I can fart them to death. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Batman doesn't kill. Just fart them to uh, unconsciousness and then turn them over to the police so they can be locked up in Arkham Asylum for rehabilitation. But yeah, if you haven't seen The Batman, I do recommend going to see it. Um, definitely see it in theaters. It's nice to be able to go to theaters again after, you know, a couple years of, of really nothing. Oh, look at that. I'm an ally of the Independent Constitution Party. That's nice. It's nice to be appreciated. Uh, now for this one, I think we have to pop over to Hebo. Yeah, hopefully it's not like uh, 400,000 late seconds away from the star. Let's buy the data. See where we have to go. It's nice to... I like to plot my roots right down to the place where I have to go. And unfortunately... Oh. Yeah, so this mission type... These are always fun because it doesn't give you a destination. You have to then find them. Uh, Sons of Icarus. That's what we want to find. So what can happen with these missions that... So we have to go to Clundy Agricultural. What can happen with these missions is sometimes... Um, you get to the place that, that has the faction and you find it's been abandoned. Uh, that can certainly happen. Or maybe it's uh, missing a power regulator. You can see this faction only has, if I can open up that panel again, 1% uh, influence in the system. So they're kind of, they kind of have already been uh, uh, 
sort of taken down a few notches. So hopefully that is online and we'll be able to complete this mission. Because I've had that before, where you literally get the mission and you can't complete it because you can't find the people to um, murder slash incapacitate. But you know, for all the uh, you know the 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 comments about Odyssey, it's been running pretty smoothly. Um, I've been enjoying it. I definitely think it needs more work, and I'm hoping that Frontier will let us know soon. It's so scary a Type Nine coming through the mail slot. It's such a sight. Um, I'm hoping to know soon, you know, like, what is update 11 going to include, which I think we get on Tuesday of next week. And then, what's the next step? Where do we go beyond that? Pun intended. It is currently a big, big mystery. Well, I don't know. What, um, what are you guys' favorite Batmans? Because, uh... Robert Pattinson, I think, put in a great performance. Something that, like, I saw, um, you know, let me put it this way. I've not seen the Twilight series. I've not really either... Wait, I don't want... Okay, there we go. Um, I've never seen the Twilight series, and I'd never really seen a Robert Pattinson movie until I saw a little gem called The Lighthouse. And if you have not seen The Lighthouse, and you're worried about Robert Pattinson's Batman, watch The Lighthouse. It's him and Willem Dafoe. That's it. It's a two-actor movie. It is a phenomenal art house film that goes to the strangest of places. Willem Dafoe's performance is absolutely the, the, the highlight takeaway from that movie. But Pattinson holds his own um, in, in, you know, against a, a heavyweight uh, performance by Willem Dafoe. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, I could see this guy being Batman. And... I will say, he's a fantastic Batman. Now, some of the flaws with the movie is um, maybe he's not the best Bruce Wayne. It's not like he does a poor job. I just think, like, the way that they interpreted Bruce Wayne is there's not... You don't really see that dual persona. Uh, he acts pretty much the same as Bruce Wayne as he does as Batman. Like, very sullen and, and dark. Um, and I would have liked to see more of that um, billionaire playboy mask that Batman wears when he's disguised as Bruce Wayne. Uh, but that's something that certainly they can flesh out, right? Um, what's cool about the movie is it's like, it's an earlier Batman. It's it's Batman in like his second year of being Batman. He's already established himself. We don't need to see his parents getting killed. You know, that gets obviously alluded to in the movie, but we don't see the scene that has been in like every single Batman movie. Um, and that was a nice, refreshing thing to just kind of start right in there. In fact, and I was saying a lot of this earlier, but, you know, repeating it now for, for anyone who's joined, um, it is one of the best introductions for Batman in all of cinema history. Like the first scene where we get to see Batman in his element, it's just so well done. Um, really, 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 really good job. Um, I kind of knew going into it that I was going to like it. Um, and coming out of it, initially I was like a little bit mixed on it because there are some things that didn't feel resolved. That felt like the third act could have used about 10 or 15 minutes more of plot development. Um, and the sequence of events, it feels somewhat anticlimactic. Um, not that that detracted from the experience, just that, you know, compared to The Dark Knight with Heath Ledger and Christian Bale, that felt like... a a really, really tight screenplay, a really well done like plot escalation. Uh, and the climax of that movie I thought was was brilliant. Um, versus this one, it kind of peaks somewhere in the middle, I think. But that said, um, tonally, it was just beautiful. It's a beautiful movie. And it's good, man, to go to see a movie and not be disappointed. <laughs> There's been too many of those lately where, you know, you go out and see the latest Star Wars film and you just walk out and feel a little dirty like you like your uh, childhood has been trampled on by a bunch of corporate executives. But uh, the Batman is not that. You can tell that the people making it were passionate. They, they loved the source material. Um, the actors especially. Paul Dano as the Riddler. Major props to that guy. He, his performance was absolutely amazing. Only to be overshadowed, I think, a little bit by Colin Farrell as the Penguin. Um, and honestly, like, like, and that's no diss against Paul Dano. Um, 
Colin Farrell, you can I could I didn't think he was in the movie. I could there's no Colin Farrell in the movie. There was only the penguin. He is so immersed in that character. Um, it, it was just incredible. But you know the, these uh, superhero movies never ever get uh, in the running for Oscars. You know it'll never get the true recognition that it deserves. But um, I would say yeah, like like if DC keeps making movies like this, they can give Marvel a run for their money. I hope they do. Because I've always been a little bit more a fan of the DC characters. Not to say I don't like Marvel, it's just, you know, I am a Batman enthusiast, and Batman is clearly the heart and soul of DC. Could have been Superman, but no one can seem to write a compelling Superman story. <laughs> Which is, you know, we were talking about it earlier, it's just like, all the good Superman movies are like, origin stories. Uh, is this the Batman with that sparkling vampire? Yes. And, uh, you know, um, he does not physically sparkle, but his performance is very sparkly. It sparkles with uh, authenticity. Um, the other thing, too, is, like, I, I hope that in a sequel movie, because I really do hope that this gets at least a trilogy, right? Um, I would like to... And this sounds vain and petty, but I feel like Robert Pattinson could have bulked up a little bit for the role. Like, he does seem like a little bit of a skinny boy Batman, there's like one section where he's got his shirt off and he's like getting into the suit and you see a little bit of flab on the belly and it's like Batman is supposed to be like peak physical condition. Now, I can forgive it because this is year two Batman. He's just, you know, coming into his own, just getting started. And I can, I, and, and let me put it this way, it does not detract from the performance. He's still incredibly believable um, as a badass. But I would like to see in, in sequel movies if he would bulk up just a little bit. You know, Christian Bale um, is one of those actors as well. If you ever saw a little movie called The Machinist, um, it's incredible to think that The Machinist was filmed after Batman Begins um, and before The Dark Knight Rises. So that guy bulked up to Batman size and then became anorexic to film The Machinist and then bulked up again for the next Batman movie. Um, you hear these, like, transformational tales about some of these actors and the things they have to do for their uh, for their roles, right? And I don't know, I've never seen the movie where he plays Dick Cheney, but oh my god. Um, it reminds me a little bit of like, yeah, the Penguin in this movie with Colin Farrell. It's probably, I don't think Colin Farrell gained all that weight, but um, definitely Colin Farrell delivers one of those like transformative performances where you're like, I would not guess, if, if you asked me to guess the actor, in a million years I would not understand who the heck it was. Okay, so, uh, what do we have to do here? We have to murder people. But not murder them. We have to Batman them. So we have to basically kill 13 targets. But we can't use guns. These are the rules of Batman. Now, are there people here? That's the first question. Okay, there are, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, so we may use stealth. We may use fisticuffs. And we must use our intelligences. Okay, so we got a couple guards out here. I think we can start with the zappy tool. Let's just make sure there's no witnesses. Okay, I think we're clear. Pert and Beasley. Gotham says you have been a criminal. Okay, no one saw that. Excellent. And I can also steal his identity, which will give me access to the interiors. But actually, there is a Batman comic where Batman literally is a vampire. I think it's called Batman Vampire. Um, and it's pretty good. It's an interesting take. It's certainly not like... Uh... Okay, now these guys... These guys... I think I will fisticuff. <sighs> You're not shot, you got punched. Get over here. You there. Don't raise the alarms. I'm Batman! <laughs> Alright, that's two down. Uh, you wish that it actually was long lethal. This is what I don't understand, is like, okay, ooh, 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 ooh. 
I'm not dead. Criminal scum. Justice is served. Get over here. Um, like, one thing that I don't understand is, yeah, when you zap them, and these guys weren't zapped, they were actually punched to quote-unquote death, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me in, in that sense. It's like, how is it, these, these people are sometimes wearing armor and you can still punch them to literal death. But with the zappy tool, it looks like, you know, when you zap someone, let me just see if I can find someone to zap. Anyone in here? No, I think that was all of them. I'll have to go back outside. Um, but when, there's a little icon above their head that kind of looks like, um, in Looney Tunes, you know, if you were to box Bugs Bunny on the head, you know, and they would get the little, uh, sort of lines and the birds chirping and whatever. I don't need any of that crap. Um, you know, it kind of looks like the unconscious sort of look, so it, it's kind of confusing. Uh, because the game sort of seems to indicate that it's not lethal, but... Um, if you have an assassination mission and you zap them, then yeah, they die. Here, I will demonstrate. Santa Graham is going to help us demonstrate. Hello, ma'am. Do you want do you want to scan me? You're not allowed to use that. Zap. So you can see here. Look at that. That looks like that looks like a little unconscious. You know, you know, I'm seeing stars kind of thing. But no, she will not wake up. Sleepy time for Sienna. Okay, let me turn the shields off because I am burning through my energy. Okay, we have Dennis Pruitt over here. Another criminal. Criminal scum. Let's see here. Oh, oh, oh. You want to scan me too. Everyone wants to get a piece of me, eh? The funny thing is, as they start scanning you, they pretty much get locked into that animation. So you can pull out your zapper and just point it at them and, you know, very patiently they will do nothing while you uh, have your way with them. Alright, let's go in here. Find more criminal scum. You there. You the riddler. You bad boy. Batman's gonna teach you a lesson. Uh, open the door. Oh shoot, I don't have access. Uh, uh oh, the alarms are gonna go off. Things are about to get serious. Yep. Yep. I'm Batman! Martha! For Martha! Down with you! I know karate! I was trained by Lady Shiva! I'm Batman! Oh, my voice. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. <coughs> okay, all right, can I turn off the alarms here? Ooh, I'll take some energy, actually. Of course, the alarms are going off, but that's fine, because I'm Batman. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Things just got serious. Okay, we're gonna use a shield disruptor grenade. Oh, they're using it on me, too. Oh, he's got a shotgun. That's one down. Okay. Okay, we got two guys there. Shield gr disruptor grenade. I'm Batman. Lying Batman dropkick. No! <laughs> Damn it. I was so close. I was so close. Uh, why so serious? <laughs> why so serious? I did really love Heath Ledger's performance, man. I really wish we had got... Um, like, you know, if he had not died, would the Joker have been in the third movie with Bane? And I would love to see a conversation between Heath Ledger's Joker and Bane. Just, why so serious? <laughs> what does it say? I'm sorry. Oh, oh you can't understand me. <laughs> My name is Bane. I am Bane. <laughs> Do a test right now? Wait, yeah, they intended it to be non-lethal, but couldn't because killing unconscious targets jacks the rating, which is just silly. That's interesting. So did we fail this mission or no? I guess not because, oh, that's cool. So we can just go back and do it again. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, there's an F for loot. Um, yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, so these missions do not fail on death. That is cool. 
So we can just go back down there and resume our uh, anti-criminal activity. I'll try to actually just go a little bit this way so I can glide down there. It's all about the angle of the schmangle. Um, but yeah, I wonder what would happen if, if I did like zap someone and then they were on the ground and I then shot them in the face. Would that have any effect? And look, it, it's not like they, they don't have blood in the game. Um, I have noticed that, that when you do shoot people, you get little tiny blood bursts. It's not like giblets flying and sticking on the walls, which I would actually love. Um, and look, I, I, you know, I wish that they would do it in a way where like, okay, um, make it a, a gore slider bar so that, you know, if people want the mature experience, they can have it. And if they, you know, want their kids to play the game, they can, uh, you know, remove that stuff from the game. I think that's always the better approach when you're trying to be like, um, as inclusive as possible is just give people options, right? But, you know, I'm not a game programmer, so maybe that kind of stuff is like harder than it seems. And oh my, oh my, I'm going too fast. Power to shields. Yeah, the bad wing. It's on autopilot. It was autopilot, not me. Okay, I can't do that voice anymore. It is killing me. I will not be able to talk to her. It's worse than Bradford. All right, so we just have to uh, take two more criminals to Arkham and then we've finished this mission. That's actually nice to know that there are some missions that you don't fail upon death. All right, we just gotta pick off two more targets. Well, I like, um, you know, like when you're playing games and you know, there's nothing that restricts me from, I could pull out my guns, but I'm not because I'm Batman. And I do love layering on your own set of rules uh, to make life more interesting slash difficult. Don't look at me. Look that way. That's right. I'll sneak up on you. Warning you, stole Nobody saw that. He. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more to go. If they want to come scan me, I'm fine with that because then that just locks them into. Uh... Who are you scanning? Okay, just for the sake of science. Let me just see what happens. Okay, I can't do it that way. Do I have a kinetic? Okay. He's got a good bulletproof helmet. Just like my back game. So yeah, apparently like that does not mean anything, that little iconography. Which is kind of disappointing, because like, yeah, like, it does kind of lose a little bit of immersion when it's like, yeah, you're playing this, like, covert assassination mission and you can zap them and they are dead, but they don't look dead. And the other way around, where it's like you want to be, like, a non-lethal infiltrator and you're like, okay, I'm going to knock this guy into unconsciousness, but then they're dead. It would be nice to have the options. That's all I'm saying. All right, back to the Batwing. Head back to the station. I believe that's that's everything we need. Have we succeeded? Woohoo! We did it. Back to Gotham. And the Crate Phantom Man, um, it is nice. It is a really nice ship. It's become my sort of uh, between that, the Clipper, and the Courier. These are the ships that I fly these days. But yeah, back to Gotham City. Still not a huge fan of the uh, the rework on the UI here for the uh, system map. Just becomes very difficult to find information. Who the heck is that? There's a player here. Let's just make sure he's up. Let's just make sure that he's a good guy. Because we're Batman. Tannic. I'm Batman. Is 
Is he shooting at me? Arr, you are criminal. Are we getting into some PvP? He did turn red, so that means he did take a shot at me. Crate is good, but it ain't no Python. Well, yeah, the Python, I think, is a better uh, rounder. Okay, good. Because crime is bad. My parents are dead. <laughs> Confiscating my guardian relic. Wait, what? No, don't take my guardian relic. Oh, I've deked your deked your hatchburger. He's trying to steal my cargo. I do have a guardian uh, thingy. How dare you? How dare you? I'm Batman. Is he gonna get my guardian thingy? It's for the greater good. Who do you work for? The Joker. How did he find me here, by the way? Why do all those hatchbreakers fail? Because of point defense. <laughs> and because of my maneuvering. Because I'm Batman. Oh, shoot. He got it on. Should be silent running. You can't see me. I'm invisible. I'm a ghost. Oh, damn it! You got it! How dare you? How dare you? Okay, can I get it back? That's the question. Where'd it go? Did it just, like, fall to the ground? Oops! Oh, heat sick, heat sick! My precious... I do love these little player interactions. Do I still have it in my inventory? What's going on? No, it's gone. He took it. Damn you. Damn you to hell, sir. Apparently, I needed a refund on these things. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Go up, 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 go up. Up, 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 up. Yeah. I'm Batman. <laughs> okay, I forgot about gravity there in that situation. Um, hopefully he got uh, a penalty for being um, involved in that. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, that's enough. That's enough. That was my bad. I mean, that just literally wiped out all the monetary progress. Like, I'm never going to be a true Bruce Wayne with this kind of bankroll. Okay, hold on. How can I, uh... Can I, like... Oh, where is this? I don't see his, um... Chats. I wanted to... Whoa. Whoa. Um... Jeez. There's a lot of system chats. Can I... Oh, okay. I can find him this way. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Um, I'll send him a friend request. I wish you could just, like, send a message from this screen. Because I would like to just say to him, oops. Yeah, unfortunately, he's, like, totally gone. Well, um, yeah, uh, oops. <laughs> there he is. Uh... Oops, I forgot about gravity. I'm a bat. I can fly. <laughs> but seeing things, that's kind of hard with echolocation. <laughs> oh, seven, Commander. <laughs> Lots of battiness. <laughs> Touche, sir. Touche. Best of the luck finding the Joker. I know where the Joker is. You can look him up on the... I can't do the damn map. I can't do the damn name. 
<coughs> but if you actually type in Joker, you will find... Oh, where the hell is it? There is a place called Joker's Rest. Joker... Oh, it's Jokester. Jokesters! The Jokester! If you watch, there's a little show I love to watch um, called On Cinema at the Cinema, starring Tim Heidecker and Greg Turkington. Uh, it is such a funny, dry comedy uh, little web skit that they do. Tim, Tim from uh, Tim and Eric, obviously. And uh, yeah, um, the jokester. There's one where, where uh, 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 Greg Turkington uh, dresses up as the joke, the jokester. The Joker strikes again. It's one of those things where um, if you like that slow-moving comedy that like just commits to the joke when it's not funny at all to the point where it becomes funny, that's I think that the on cinema at the cinema. It's like disguised as a movie review show, but there's like eight seasons of pure lore. Uh, the lore is deep in that series, and I love comedy that just like builds on itself. Um, man, they're funny. I saw Tim Heidecker um, do stand-up when he came to town. Uh, he's a funny stand-up comedian. His characterization is amazing. What's going on now? Now I'm getting all the system chat. I'll show you Strip Bear. What's going on? Is he a rapist? Should we take him out with the Batarang? But yeah, I would like to see... Um, there are two things I'd like to see in Odyssey. Um, melee weapons, I think, would be top of the top of the food chain for me. I'd love to see some sort of, like, laser fist knuckles. What do you call them? What do you call those, like, rings that you wear? Brass knuckles. But, like, you know, like, titanium brass knuckles with electrified tongs on them. Um, or, or, you know, a baseball bat. <laughs> I don't care. Just give me, give me some form of melee weapon, because I do find... Melee combat and charging into things to be a really fun thing to do. But I'd also like to see, like, suit gadgets, right? Like a grapple hook or, um, yeah, like maybe smoke bombs or uh, something that could disable someone's weapons or disable a group of weapons all at once. Or a taser. That'd be fun. I mean, technically, yeah, you have one with the overcharge zappy device. But I mean, like, you know, maybe a taser that could shoot out and uh, um, stun someone for two minutes or something, right? So you can get past those guards um, in non-lethal ways, but uh, you know, unfortunately right now there's there's no real way to like not kill someone. Even if you zap them and take them down in a quote-unquote non-lethal way, it's still pretty much it looks a lot like death to me. But anyway... Well, this has been fun. It's been fun to be Batman in the Elite Dangerous Universe. I might do um, some more stuff like this. Definitely, um, if you have ideas in terms of like how, what what are Batman-y things that you can do in Elite, um, let me know. But I love the idea of just like putting those restrictions. Like I'm going to do track down criminals, but not use guns. You have to really think and strategize. How am I going to approach this situation? And I only died thrice or four times something like that but they were very good deaths all right back to gotham we'll cash this in and i think i'll call it a stream but yeah also um in other news in bolognese uh dangus investigations were almost at like 50 percent influence in the system it's been pretty it's been a pretty good run it's been awesome to get a faction in the game and take over the system i think we've been through like maybe six wars at this point in Bolognes. Um, Dark Heavy's been kind of keeping track of it and trying to optimize the factions so that we have control of the system, but that also, there's a variety of mission types to do. Um, and that's been really cool. But definitely, there is a war right now in Bolognes. It's not between Dangus Investigations and another faction, but between a couple different... Uh... Next time, do a Homelander stream? Oh god, oh god, that would be evil. That would be so evil. When is uh, the next season of The Boys coming out, by the way? Because I, I do really dig that show. I really... I'll, I'll watch anything that Carl Urban is in. He's one of my hands-down favorite actors. Loved him in the Star Trek series. He's in the Doom movie. Remember the movie that they made with The Rock for Doom? He's like the main character in that. Um, he's in the Riddick movies. He's in the Lord of the Rings. He's Eomer. Um, he's in... Uh, what was it? What was it Guardians of the Galaxy? Um, or was it Thor? I think it was one of the Thor movies. He was the 
the bald guy. I, I don't know his character's name. But um, Carl Ur- uh, Judge Dredd, of course. Uh, Carl Urban's a fantastic actor, and he's great in The Boys, but the star of that show is definitely the, uh, what's his name, Anthony, is it Anthony Starr? <laughs> is his name Anthony Starr? I can't remember his name, but uh, the guy who plays Homelander. Um, just this perfect sort of, like, immature frat boy psychopath. Like, just this perfect vibe of of, of um, uh, dangerous, dengus, dengarino. But uh, the boys, yeah, season one really, uh, you know, just came out of nowhere, and I had not heard of it. Um, and then I watched something uh, pretty recently called Invincible. And if you haven't seen Invincible, I believe that's starring, um, I don't know, it's like Stephen Yoon, the guy who's like uh, Glenn from The Walking Dead, um, and then uh, uh, J.K. Simmons. Um, and it's like, you know, something like The Boys kind of thing. Oh, man, Invincible, it's fantastic. It's a really great show. If you like sort of um, offbeat superhero movies that have edge to them, Invincible I quite enjoyed. There's a lot of good uh, season twos that I'm looking forward to, or season threes, I guess. Riddick, that's a good movie series. I feel like I need to rewatch Riddick. Um, I watched Pitch Black again recently and kind of forgot how many stars are in that movie. Isabella Skorupko is in that movie. She was uh, Natalia in Goldeneye. Um, and then who else? I can't remember. But that, that movie was kind of star-studded. Um, and I remember Pitch Black the best out of the Riddick series, but I feel like I need to watch the uh, the Chronicles of Riddick and Riddick and watch those all again. Um, from Rumor has it that Vin Diesel uh, uh, mortgaged his house to, to uh, pay for one of them. So you can tell it was kind of a you know a passion project for him. What the hell? What do I get all these fines for? I'm not paying those. I don't have anonymous access. I don't care. <laughs> I collect vines. Well, unfortunately, I lost my Guardian Relic to another player um, who is clearly role-playing, and I love it. I love the fact that there's just some guy who's like, I'm going to liberate you these Guardian artifacts. For reasons? I don't know. But it's, I gave him a good run for his money before I pal drive myself into the planet. As you do. Gotham is safe for another night. I can't do the Batman voice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to do it the whole stream, and I'm like... But five minutes in, I'm like, no, no, that's not going to happen. I'll never, never play the piano again. All right, Gotham citizens are safe for tonight. We can rest assured knowing that crime has paid a price. They all fear the Batman. I think I will take the money. Give me the money. Thank you for your business. The Natural Growth Party. That sounds very organic, vegan. I do like uh, some of these Odyssey missions. Though, I'm wondering, um, Patch 11, they're talking about a new mission type. And Tokoso had a very good point. They talked about potentially adding um, missions from engineers to get materials. And that seems pretty logical. Like, that's probably what they're going to do. Um, my out there sort of, like, Raxla level uh, speculation was... What if they're like Thargoid combat on foot missions? That could be an interesting thing to come out the gate with, you know? If that's true, if I died, the relic would have gone away anyway. That's true. But if that guy hadn't attacked me, I wouldn't have power drived into the ground because I would have just jumped out of the atmosphere. Um, but yeah, like, like you know, and again, I don't want to get people's hopes up. It's probably, what happened to that ad? Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh? Oh. Huh? Huh. It's like a certain angle. That's weird. That's a glitch. Um, but yeah, you know, it's definitely like, don't get your hopes up, but you know, my, you know, uh, unrealistic expectations would be that, you know, hey, Frontier's been silent for a while because they're, they've been working hard on new features and, you know, they're going to come and surprise us and give us space legs and Thargoid legs and, you know, like there'll be 27 features along with this latest patch, but in reality, it'll probably be, like, just fleet carrier interiors and just a new mission type. And it'll probably be something they mentioned months and months ago and we totally forgot about. But um, one can hope. One can hope for the future that, you know, there is a roadmap. There are new adventures that we can get into. I certainly hope so. But we'll see. I guess Tuesday's not far away, so at least there'll be something to talk about. 
Um, now, depending on um, various things, if uh, if I have time on Tuesday, I might do a stream. I might do a stream and, and, and check out some fleet carrier interiors. There's quite a few carriers uh, parked in the Bologna system, and we could maybe go do a little tour of the of the fleet carrier concourse and see what that's like. And very interestingly enough, I, I think you're going to be able to see a fleet carrier jump from the inside. And I think that will be a super cool uh, experience to check out. So, and I'm honestly, I'm sure that many streamers will probably be doing the same thing and they'll probably get to it before me. But um, I like the idea of using streams to kind of capture like first impressions and stuff like that. So we'll see, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, uh, that's what I'll do on Tuesday, but you know, don't hold me to it, you know? It's like, if I tell you the roadmap, are you going to yell at me? Are you going to tell me, where, where's my space flag spatula? Where's Rackle spatula? Where's my console release spatula? <laughs> Whoa, that was an outburst. I apologize for the uh, possible confusion that could have created. But I uh, will wish you adieu for now. It's been a good stream today, being Batman and cleansing Gotham from crime in the only way that we know how. With justice. With justice. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining. I will do definitely another stream uh, next Saturday. Um, and like I said, potentially one on Tuesday. We'll have to see though. Um, but I hope you have a good rest of the week. Stay safe out there. Or actually, don't. Fly Dangus. Screw safety. Yeah. Um, but I will see you again soon out there in the block. And 07, Commanders. Goodbye.